Okay, looks like we're all recording. Welcome back, everybody. It's time for some more to, of uh, Pokemon Blaze Black here. We're going to see if we can get to Getsis today. That's the goal. I was just telling chat, repeating myself for the YouTube audience. Everyone's at least level 70. Now, we took a little bit of a break from this game because I wanted to start some other stuff as well. And that was a lot of fun, but now I feel pretty eager to make some progress. We'll ignore that. Everything is strong here. And that's right, we have new emotes, everybody. Now's the time to spam them. Okay, I'm gonna run away from this. I wanna get the easy kills. Everyone has, everyone currently has the lucky egg. That's what I'm trying to say here. I feel like I was forgetting to say something else. We can surf down the other e entrances like next time. Let's do it. Get out of here. For the longest time, I thought the guy's name was uh, Gestus, but I, I was apparently reading it wrong. It's actually Getsis. Anyways. Oh no, we're not in post game. We're at the end of the main story. Okay, I fought that guy. Moltres can show up in this place right here, but I haven't found it yet. Oh, for a split second, I was like that. Mm. Nothing here that Boopy can take out. We're gonna see if we can do it. We're gonna see if we can do it. Pardon me. I immediately need a drink. I was like holding back like a hiccup, sneeze, cough, like the whole, the whole, the, the whole thing there. I am alive. There we go. I'm gonna hit this guy with Leaf Blade though. We can only imagine how tough the Elite Four are gonna be. Oh. First attack and I miss input. That's how you know I'm bringing my A game right now. Pardon me. I think I'm good there. That just kind of messed me up for a bit. It's even more awkward awkward to like half mute like that when I have the VTuber now. <laughs> All I can do, chat, is switch to my pissy face though. 260... Yeah, 261.7. No problem. We've fished in a few areas, but we don't need everything. We're trying to advance right now. No, I think I'm a few levels away from Leaf Storm. I'm trying to get that. We're going to try and add to the decks for sure. But we also want to make sure we can deal with the story today. Because once we beat the main story, we can start, like, really knocking off a lot of those Pokedex entries. Okay, let's do it. We're only doing a short stream today of just this. I say short, but it might go longer than normal episodes because I want to just get to the end of the story. All right, let's go. In the meantime, I did get the chance to start um, Pokemon Recharge Yellow. That's been a fun playthrough so far. The challenge mode isn't super difficult, in my opinion, once you get more into it. Oh, it has Sap Zipper. Well, damn. Well, then. Well, then. I'm gonna just run from it, then. How about that? We're more than we're halfway through the decks, basically. Yeah, that was the goal last time. Okay, let's keep going. Get as much as we can done. What was I talking about before I got distracted by the sap zipper? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you're new to this game, many legendaries are like 1% encounters in some locations. Oh, it's recording. Don't worry. Found Latios on the, the Victory Road gate. And Moltres is just in the outside tiles. If I find it, I find it. We're going to spend entire streams hunting those. Okay, I, I beat this guy. I'm really proud of what I have achieved. Cool. I'm proud of that, too. I achieved a lot of things, chat. I got out of bed this morning. And I uh, became VTuber. <laughs> I was talking about new emotes. You know, I should show those off to YouTube. Hang on. A little bit at a time, anyway. Just so YouTube knows why they should come to the stream and see these. Oh, that's the wrong... That's the wrong thing. That's the BRB screen. Where is it? Oops. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Lapping Teddy Ursa. Look at it, chat. I brought up one of the BRB screens with Teddy dressed as, uh, as, as Link. I almost for a split second said Zelda. 
That would be a sign that I need to go back to bed for real. Look at that. Look at the laughing bear. Isn't it cute? It's really cute. Hang on. You want to see the popcorn one again? Let me see. Yep. Now we got popcorn Teddy. He's munching and crunching. He's munching and crunching looking for Moltres. There's that thing. Hang on. We also have Teddy or Sachir. Look at that. Teddy with the pom-poms. Yellow and blue to match my colors. Isn't that a cute detail? Thanks again to Yo-Yo for just commissioning all of these and surprising me with them. Hang on. And we also have Teddy or Subplaws. Look at that. I used to just put a bear in the corner for the entire episodes, but now I'm subjecting you all to my VTuber. This is non-negotiable. The anime will be there now. And finally, speaking of anime, we've got, an, we've got our first emote of my model. Look at that. All these can be spammed in chat right now. Whoop. We have lots of animated slots free. But we used up all the regular ones, and we just had no room. So that's why they're all animated now. Aren't they cute? I love them. All of them, once again, made by Gomi. Move this here. Excellent. Speaking of which, Yo-Yo -Yo, uh, herself made that uh, the Teddy Ursa Zelda screen. The one I accidentally brought up. Yes. Wait, you young trainer over there. Look at my Pokemon. Recharge Yellow has, has kind of spoiled me on the instant tech speed. Then I come back to the DS games where you have to wait five seconds for their dialogue to load in. Okay, what do they got? Let's do it. This game is definitely more difficult than Recharge Yellow. Absolutely. I feel like um that game is more so designed around you attempting the Nuzlocke it. It's not, like, meant to be Kaizo-level difficulty at all. We're gonna switch out, even though Intimidate buffed me. That's right, spam those emotes, or else. Blair Blitz. That's not gonna help him. Ooh. Yeah, hit him with Scald. Scald is powerful. You can imagine Brock in that game ruining some Nuzlocks. Yeah. I actually lost to Brock in that game. Voice crack, holy moly. Um, he has an Omanite that spams Bite. And for whatever reason, I was so unlucky, he kept making me flinch. And I don't understand why. Now stay in. I'll stay in. Let me see. I usually don't prefer to play games on set unless the, the hack is specifically designed around it. Otherwise, I just feel like my team's missing EXP or I have to wait for someone to awkwardly die. Okay, I got the burn. I'm not using the items in battle, though. Tend to not do that. Okay, here we go. I thought King's Rock can't add to a flinch chance. It can only, like, give an initial flinch chance to moves that don't have it. Okay. Let's stay in. The flinch luck was ridiculous, I know. Misty also has a Starmie in that game with Psybeam, and holy crap does it sweep. But then I got to, like, Lieutenant Surge, and from there, my team has been more well-rounded. I'm going with, like, the yellow t the yellow version special where you can get the starters, and you can also use Raichu in that game. I'm using, like, my, my dream Pokemon yellow team that I would mainly use as a kid. Okay, let's go Dragon Claw. Let's do it. Well, he's switching. Nothing we can do about that now. Oh, you're gonna regret that switch, buddy. This one's been pretty balanced. Like, it's a long playthrough where we're going for the Pokedex, but it gives me ample opportunity to grind, so that's been good. But we are going to try some Nuzlocks this year, for sure. One of, uh, I, sh I was showing it off the chat, but one of the big goals for the sub-goals we're starting is going to be a Nuzlocke using the built-in Nuzlocke mode, a Pokemon Polished Crystal. I thought that could be fun. Also, 
I can't believe I didn't take him out one hit. Dang. All right, if that's the case, I'll let Togekiss do it. Why not? Prior to Gen 5, the King's Rock actually stacked. Oh, did it? Interesting. I didn't know that. He's going Pulse. Wait, I didn't click Dragon Dance. I clicked Dragon Claw. Let me see here. Oh, never mind. Was using bad information. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Actually, you know what? It's not okay. Mod, someone was just wrong in my chat. Ban them forever. Let's stay in here. The rules did change in Gen 5, but not like that. How could you? Did I really click? Did I really click Dragon Dance? I'm sorry, chat. I must be half asleep. I must be half asleep. I need a sleepy version of my character. I'm getting swept by this lady. Holy crap. Oops. Oops. Great impression. He's going head smash. Can Archeops get that? Normally, I mean. I, I swear I'm a pro at this game. It's too easy for me. I'm just giving a little bit of a handicap, I promise. Stay in. Okay, let's go for it. I have been very excited to use the model, yeah. We used it for Recharge Yellow, and we started playing Mario Party CPU games like I promised. Which, by the way, we're going to do another one tomorrow. I wanted to ask you guys, because the game we're picking is Mario Party 3. I cannot, for the life of me, even remember what boards are in this game. Um... I think there's a Waluigi one, but you have to unlock it in story mode. But So aside from that, what, what would be a good one to play? I don't actually know. Let me see. Okay, got it. Those streams have been so much fun, especially with the Mario Party 2, uh, 2 game we did. Not bad. I like your strength. Don't worry. When I talk about Mario Party, I'm never going to, like, spoil who won. Oh, all I did was turn. In case someone hadn't watched that yet. I gotta go heal myself. It's fine. Woody Woods? Is that, like, the basic first board? I don't know. I don't have Rhydon, I know. But I need to heal my team right quick. Okay, perfect. Hmm... The last time I played Mario Party 3 was in college, and it was really funny because I won, and one of the dudes, as a joke, just turned the N64 off uh, before it displayed the results screen. Sore loser. College, everybody. I didn't buy enough revives. That's okay. The salt was real. It was just a joke, bro. It's just a joke. I don't remember what board it was, who I was playing. In the N64 games, I think I like to play Yoshi and DK. In uh, Mario Party, like, 5, 6, 7, I like to pick Boo. Was Boo in 5? I know I played him in 6 and 7 all the time. Okay, let's do it. It's funny because in that same, uh, same friend group, I use that word very loosely. Group of people I hung out with because I was alone in an, in an unfamiliar town. Um, I remember one time we were hanging out with a dude, we were playing Mortal Kombat, like the, um, it was MK9, like the reboot on the 360, although he had the PC version. I beat him, and as a joke, he turned off his PC. I mean, that one was more real funny, because, like, you know, it was, it was his PC, and we were just screwing around, but, like, the Mario Party guy was salty, and he was bad at hiding it. <laughs> that one was just a silly joke, I gotta be completely fair. Okay. Hang on a sec. This looks better now. Uh, the basic boards in Mario Party 3 are the two one-star difficulty ones. Chilly Waters and Deep Bloober Sea. Woody Woods is two-star difficulty. Mario Party, like, uh, difficulty rating is very silly. It never makes much sense to me. Okay. Did you know that Horror Land in Mario Party 2 is, the, is considered the most difficult board by the game's own settings? Oh boy, my Pokemon might brag about me. Let's start. I'd love to give him a try, though. 
It's not like I'm the one playing. I just gotta commentate. Difficulty is basically how many gimmicks are on the board. Yeah, I guess. Probably just like a, a rating for like if you know you're playing with like the with small kids or something, so they can understand it better. You know the target demographic. Let's switch into Houndoom here. All right. Yeah, yeah. Horrorland considers uh is considered mid difficulty in Super Mario Party. Do you think they'll make another one? There was two of them on Switch, right? Mario Party, uh, Super Mario Party, and Mario Party Superstars. They dropped the numbers from the names. I guess technically they'd be 12 and 13. Let me see. The thing is, after Mario Party 8, they just decided er that all the games need to be very different. Which was weird, because everyone liked getting the same one released every year. I'm not gonna lie, like... I, I liked getting the new Mario Party on GameCube every year back when I was young. Like, it were actually fun. They were just a little bit of a slight upgrade each time. And I know that sounds really stupid. I mean, but I'm gonna be- listen, I'm gonna tell you, I played Mario Party a lot more than I played Madden. There was a lot more new things in those than Madden. I say this like I- like I know anything about those games. <laughs> All right, thank you, Rick, for the sub there. Let's give him a little punch. Let's do it. Our Serene gets hit by the hail. Okay, I'm gonna switch out of Jinx there. Um. Uh, you know what? Houndoom should do it. People like Super, but not Superstars. I heard it was the other way around. See, the thing is, I never really got to play them because, like, I think, like, me and my brothers would just kind of turn on Mar Super Mario Party once, and then they just would not want to play it again. And, like, it's not as good as the old ones. And it's like, oh, okay. And I, I never... By the time, like, Super Mario... Sorry, Superstars came out. Confusing names. Um, my brothers already, like, live on their own. <laughs> I had no one to play with, and the online just didn't really work when I tried. Back in my day. Okay. Starmie. I should switch out. Let Boopy do it. I mean, for Mario Party, everyone has their favorites. It's for any video game series, right? Everyone's got their favorites, and everyone thinks they know what the bad ones are. But on the internet, you can't tell anymore. I can't tell if a person dislikes a video game or they watched a video that told them it was bad and they've never played it. Really, you can just... You, you can't tell anymore. Well, that sucks. That did a lot. Ah. All right, then. I'll just let my low tick finish it off. As a matter of fact, I thought this game was quite shallow and pedantic. GamerDude69 made a whole video about it, and I agree. Scald. I say this, like, after, right after I trashed the Madden games. I mean, that is such a good joke, shallow and pedantic, because the way they show the joke in that episode of Family Guy is Peter is watching, like, the news or something, and he sees some fancy guys say, Wow, I thought this was quite shallow and pedantic. And Peter's like, mm, yes, yes, shallow and pedantic. And then the literal next scene, they cut to him eating his wife's cooking. And he's like, mm, I think this dinner is quite shallow and pedantic. Just to rub home the fact that, like, he's just repeating fancy words that he heard somewhere. That's why that joke is just so good. It, it doesn't sound very good because I'm over-explaining it, but you know what I mean. Hmm. Let's see... Full restore. Excellent. Let's go over here. Yeah, isn't Mario Party Superstar is kind of a greatest hits type thing? There are Mario Parties on the 3DS, but they weren't really as good. Let's do this. I'm running out of revives, chat. I've got three max revives. 
I might use those. This is probably the best dungeon to use them in. Because I can just buy a bunch of regular revives and hyper potions for healing at the Elite Four. I only got five hyper potions left. Wow. I didn't come in more prepared. I should have bought stuff at the end of last episode. Okay, let's do it. Let's go have some fun. That opens the shortcut. No one ha with me has strength, though. So there's nothing I can do about that. Oh, well. We'll scour this place later with the HMs. Don't worry. Don't worry about the Woobat. Now let's just climb up here. Go outside again. Was there a way to slide down? I want to make sure. No, this was a dead end, was it? Ah. Alright, if that's the case, I'm going to use a repel for a second. Just to make things a little easier on myself here. Did I buy max repels? I'm pretty sure I did. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's run for it. Have ourselves some fun. Max repels, that's right. You can't just ooh -oo max repels. Do you think repels keep cringe away? I'm not sure about that. Yeah, let's fight this guy. Whenever I'm lost, I meet a trainer. Of course we're gonna fight. Are we now, buddy? Are we? Black Belt, Tyrone, and he's got Polyrath. Well, oh, he's got more fighting types than Chuck, it looks like. I should be safe to just Leaf Blade this guy. Let's do it. We need to get that sweet XP, everybody. And I also just need to chug some of my drink there. Once again, pretend that my model is animated enough for that. Hopefully, with uh, starting tomorrow, we can save up, chat. Goal is by the end of uh, the two-month period we're doing this, we'll, we'll have enough to get that 3D model stuff started. Let's do it. What do you think Max Repels smell like? I don't know. If they keep Pokemon away, or weak Pokemon away, they gotta smell like something. break it. I mean, like, bug repellent smells okay. You know what I mean? Hang on, let me stay in here. Let's do this. Let you get the XP. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. But, like, not all Pokemon are bugs. So, would it really just work on all Pokemon? It shouldn't, but I shouldn't question this logic. Like, bug repellent has to smell a certain way to repel bugs, but... Obviously, if you're wearing it, you don't want to smell bad yourself. Okay, let's do it. You lost its focus. What about Pokemon without noses? I don't know. Maybe it makes them itchy. Okay, there we go. Uh, I don't have Aura Sphere, so you know what? We're just gonna go with my low tick again. Actually, no, my low tick's probably the best bet. Oh, you hate, you don't like when you get hit by a tick there? Yeah. I haven't been camping in like well over a decade. I haven't needed to worry about stuff like that. I don't like the idea of camping. Not unless it's with, um, a, a very cl close friend group or something. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not gonna go camping alone. I don't have any friends that are, like, like into doing that. Let me see. At least, like, not with- not, like, going out with them- with me. Let's do it. Gen 5 battle music is a bop, yes. That is so much XP, holy crud. Metagross, um... 
Jeez. You know what? Hound Doom should probably just deal with it. Let's do it. What if I met a teddy while camping? I'd be very afraid. Chat, I do not want bears to show up at my campsite. Even if it's a little baby bear, that means the mama bear will probably come be coming by. Okay, let's go. That was hammer arm. That's not good. Holy crud. Set it on fire. No bears here, I know, unfortunately. Ah. Not good. Well, let's heal up again. I really should be avoiding the trainers now, shouldn't I? But it's okay, we can do it. Heal you. No bears are harmed this stream, exactly. Only the most wholesome of teddies get to play. Okay. Don't remember how much more we- Oh! The doctor's right there! Well, that's good. I'm a doctor. If you have a Pokemon in bad shape, let me see your Pokemon in battle. Let's do it. Dr. Logan. It's probably a good thing I healed up anyway. This will give us the XP boost we need, I think. Let's hit it with the seeds. Come on. It's going for a wish. Aren't I about to learn Leaf Storm? I might as well get rid of Leaf Blade, right? There's no reason to even have two grass moves at that point. If contrary, would buff my uh, special attack after using it. Oh, Dino's being a little troublemaker, chat. A big troublemaker. Ooh. You need to cut that out. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Give it a little slash. Make a little dash. Oh, thank goodness. That's... Oh, that's a lot. Nope, didn't learn. Alright, send in Blissey. Blissey is probably the only thing I wouldn't want to leave Storm, but we have other Pokemon for that. Just hit it with a physical move, and we'll be okay. Light screen. Okay. Not the move I'd use, but what do I know? Leaf Storm's just around the corner, chat. I promise this time. I promise. Dang, that was a lot more. Dude, I'm not learning it. I'm, I'm just not learning Leaf Storm. Is it not even real? Is it not real, chat? Ugh. I'm beginning to think I got scammed. I thought it was 72, then I thought it was 73, but no, apparently it's not yet. Let's just Dark Pulse for now. We'll get it when we get it. Blast it. Ooh, that's not enough, apparently. Leaf Storm is as real as the Espeon. The Espeon is real. You'll see. Eevee will eventually evolve in yellow, I promise. Also, I'm asleep now. That's cool. Oh, boy. Um, Musharna actually can't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, he can't do anything to me. That's pretty funny. He actually he had to switch because he couldn't hit me. He was trying to use Psychic. It says Leaf Storm should be at level 62. 
I definitely did not try and learn it at that level. Did they take it away? They may have taken it away. Darn. Sixty-two in the base games, I mean. Oh well. If I gotta fight with what I got, I gotta fight with what I got. Wolfie's we'll still trying their best. Okay, how Doom gets better. Um, let's stay in. Let's let Houndoom sweep. This is another reason I don't particularly uh, want to play everything on set. Cause like, it, and it makes it so you have to play like this, where every Pokemon just has to like tank and fight everything until it goes down, or you take a really bad switch in. Well, that sucks. Let's do it. We're gonna bop them. I know for sure I had Superior when I played this game. Specifically Blaze Black, right? Gave Houndoom Magic Guard, isn't that cool? All right, let's do it. The goodest of boys has won again. Yeah, send it out. We know it can't hurt me. Yeah, you can tell me what level it gets Leaf Storm at. I actually genuinely want to know. Because I've been uh, coping about it for, like, several, like, weeks. <laughs> okay, good. Your strength is fathomless. I'm deeply moved. It's level 74 according to the documents. You're, you're, you're telling me it's only one level away. Again. You wouldn't be trying to, like, get my hopes up again, are ya? First, I intend to become the best trainer in the world. All right, I'll believe you this time. Let's do it. Let's go up. Um, let me see what's outside first. Oh no, I know you, I know you're actually looking at the documents. I'm just joking. I got to clarify that. The uwu anime boy in the corner is in fact joking. No, he's actually angry. Fight you. I think this is the end. I thought about what I can do to help my Pokemon win, and finally I figured out the answer. Nice. Challenge by Ace Trainer David. He's got T-Tar. Let's do it. Oh no, I believe you guys. It's level 74. We'll get it in second. And we'll be completely useless against, uh, Chantal, though. Let's do it. Really only been a half hour? Feels like it's been a little longer. Oh. Yeah, just enough to do that, too. Damn. Check out that substitute doll. He's what? He substitute focus punches? Okay. Has focus punch ever been worth it to use? I've been a VTuber for a few weeks now, friend. Welcome. All right, let's do it. Finish him off. Stretch, darn me. All right, I'll stretch. Stretching is good for the back. Ooh, we're getting close. Steelix, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay in, and then I'm gonna switch so I get the uh, XP. We'll go ahead and send in my low tech for this. Yeah, look at Steelix shuffle around. Coil. Okay. Model is cute. Thank you, friend. I appreciate it. Now let's light it up. I don't know what levels the Elite Four are, but considering all the Ace Trainers here are just below 70, they're probably gonna make me work for it. So we maybe should spend a little extra time leveling. Or maybe it's time to use the rare candies I've been hoarding. How many do I have? I think I may have used them. I don't even remember now. Tomorrow will be a longer stream. I'm gonna do more Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we're gonna do Mario Party 3. Mario Party has been good to do as like a secondary game because it doesn't go on for several hours. 
Surprisingly, a 50-turn game only takes two hours with the computers. Oh, there it is. It's real, chat. I will keep Leech Seed, though. Goodbye, Leaf Blade. Leaf Storm? Yeah, it's inaccurate, though. <laughs> the only thing Leaf Blade will be good for now is, um... I mean, Blissey. I'm doing it. If I miss, I miss. I don't care. Let's do it. Golem? I may as well stay in. Yeah, Focus Punch is pointless when you can just use close combat. Yeah. Like, why would you? So silly. Golem be shuffling around. And it's got sturdy, because they all do. They always got sturdy. They always hit Stone Edge. Damn. Crit. The fact that Golem has a reptilian face, arms and legs just poking out of its rock. Does that mean that inside of Geodude, there was always like some little salamander dude? Or do y'all believe the theory that like parts of Machoke when getting traded get mixed up in Graveler's DNA. That's what people like to think, even though you can trade with any Pokemon, not just Machoke. Let me see. I'll stay in. Some of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Some people like to think it's in a similar way that Carablast and Shelmet work, where if you trade Machoke and Graveler with each other, Machoke gets uh, Graveler's four arms and Golem gets Machoke's reptilian face. I like to think it's more funny to think there's a funny little dude inside the Geodude piloting it like it's a mech. Well, we got hit here. May as well Ice Punch. Let's do it. Great Evolution's always just silly. The radiation from the trade machine makes it evolve or something. Get punched. Garchomp is legally not allowed to survive the chilly weather. There we go. Excadrill. Well, I'm about to die with you. I may as well switch. Um... I might die. I'm gonna go for the Leaf Storm because I want it. I want to use the Leaf Storm. I want it. Mm-hmm. X scissor. Oh, that's not good. Well then. I'll have to take advantage of Intimidate at least. And just hit it with Flamethrower and hope everything works out. Oh wait, Sandstorm is active. Oh, I totally forgot. No wonder he's gonna be fast. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna get swept. All right, um, crap, I don't have any super effective moves. He resists everything Togekiss does. Go for the Earthquake here, assuming I can take it to hit from him. Thank you, Hawk and I, for the raid there. I appreciate that. He's going for a Sand Rush. Going for a Dragon Dance wouldn't help me either. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank goodness. That was almost terrifying. No, it was terrifying, let's be real. I'm afraid I couldn't read what you wanted to do. So I think we're near the end, but just in case, I better go back to the doctor. That repel should still be active, right? Yeah, he's over there. Yes, heal me up. Please, please, please. I really needed a drink there. No problem. Pal's effect wore off, that's fine. I wanted to see what's in the later floors anyway. We got Loudred. I want to hit at least one Leaf Storm. I also really should use, um... I really should use those PP ups on it now, too. Nice. 
Oh, that's amazing. Nobody redeemed to hydrate. You can't give the drinks away for free. You know, if I'm thirsty, I still need the drink. You can't just let me die. All right, I'll drink again. Whoopsie. I've already got these Pokemon. I'll fix my posture too, don't worry. Hang on, before I forget, let's just do this. Hmm. I've got four. We only need three. You can only use three PP ups per move, right? Pretty sure that's the rule. Let's keep going. Let's also switch my lead Pokemon. Um, Haxorus is somehow the lowest level. Let's do this. Hmm. Full heal. Blah. We're getting close to the end. Just a bit further to go. Um, which way? Damn it. Whatever. No, I think this was the right one, actually, wasn't it? No idea if there's more legendaries to find. We know that Moltres can be found in the outside tiles, but that's it. Durant's not worth it. Let's find them all. The people who pass by here have such different moods. It's fun to watch and even more fun to fight against them. I think I'm in a happy mood, though, chat. How can I not be happy? I have bears. Got five Pokemon? Uh-oh. This might be tricky. No problem. Hmm. Let's make sure... I knew this. Oh, thank goodness. He missed. Okay. Will this be enough? Let's find out. Where's the little teddy, though? I can bring the bear up. Hang on. There we go. He hit me. Don't want to get locked into Outrage. No, don't! No, oh, I should have used Outrage then. Ah, that's annoying. Thought maybe I could at least take one. And he gets to watch the stream too, because he's been very good. Okay, let's do it. What? That didn't kill him? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Oh, do you believe this crap, Teddy? I can't believe Togekiss tanked that, but, uh, frickin' Haxorus could not. Wow. Oh, speaking of Haxorus. You know what? Stay in. Fine. Mold Breaker. Fire Punch. Fire Punch? Well. Just ice it, I guess. Alright, let's get him. Oh. Oh? Oh no. I think this guy is gonna kill me. He is not screwing around, chat. He is not screwing around. He had a freaking dragon gem. Here we go. He's gonna sweep me. This is all he has three Pokemon left after this too. Uh-oh. Hey, 
And he got his outrage again. Yep. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. You gotta be kidding me. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. There we go. Level 73. Everyone gets stronger. Sceptile, send it out. Send it out. I want to have words with it. We're still winning this. Get burned, sucker. This will be enough. This will be enough. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Two left. Okay. We could probably leaf storm that. Does Teddy say Teddy Teddy, or does he cry and make nondescript bear noises? I would say a mix of both. Sometimes it's just cute with Teddy Ursa's just like Ursa, Ursa, Teddy Ursa. It just makes you want to reach over and give him a cookie. Come on. Oh, you ain't living this, buddy. Oh, I ain't living this, buddy. Oh, my. What is this guy's problem? He's out for blood. I'm about to get sent back to the Shadow Realm with this one. It's Houndoom versus one more Pokemon. Let's find out if I can do it. Oh? I think I can do this. I think I can do this. He's going Nightshade. Maybe it's got the Eevee Light. It wouldn't shock me if it does, yeah. Either way, we got him. That dude was... That guy was not screwing around. Probably one of the strongest, like, regular trainers ever. It's fun. Fun, he says. Winning's good, but winning's not everything. Don't lose sight of what's important. Yeah, like Teddy. Teddy's important. Let's go. There it is. I need to go back to the doctor. Yeah, let's go. Wait, I can't go back. Um. All right, then. Let's uh see if I can get through this. Oh, this is the end. Good, no one fights me here. That was Black and White 3 that did that. We made it. We made it. We're at the Elite Four chat. Now let's heal and buy lots of revives and hyper potions, and also Pokeballs for later. Let's do it. We also still kind of need more, um... Need more XP, though, I'd say. Hold on, what about the other... What about the special one? More Quick Balls, I'd say. With a lot of the money we got right now. Eh, just a few of them right now. Okay, the rest of them we need to spend on this. Okay... Need revives for the road. Need hyper potions to heal. Need to sell some stuff, too. What do I have to sell? I don't think I really have any sellables anymore, the stuff I want to ditch. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think that part through, did I? That's okay. We're not going in just yet, anyway. Okay. Let Haxorus get some darn levels. Hound Doom will probably be MVP for Chantal. Go back in. Looks like there's an item down there. It's such a long way. Do you have the courage? Yeah, I can just fly back.
Power Herb. Eh. There's still more friends to fight. There's the doctor. Oh, calcium. Um, not sure if this would work at this point in the game, but we can try. Could just give it to you? Nope. Milotic got it. Nope. Are you serious? Are you serious? Lame. Super lame chat. <laughs> the best place to grind might be on the Elite Four themselves, but now I don't have enough money. Just hit him with this, why don't we? Let me take an alternate path going backwards, so let me go ahead and, and repel more. Where is it? Ah, oh, there we go. We'll go ahead and use that. Oh, restore the PP. There's definitely still more people in here to fight. Get in there. So let me go back this way for a sec. Okay, that's that there. Right, I remember where it was. I remember where it was. I need to go back forward a bit. We're not running through this with HMs right now. Want to make sure we just get some, a few things to make it easier on ourselves. Other entrance goes here. Yeah, it's going this this time. Oh, that goes there? Ah, Well, I wasted my time, apparently. Never mind. I think maybe I have fought just about everyone here now. Oh. And now I went through there again. Come on, I remember the path. I remember the path. Just keep going to the wrong one. Accidentally. Accidentally. That guy is Satan right there. I don't want to fight him ever again. Not that I have to. Okay, it's no problem. Just an extra level or two is all we need. I'm sure I'm, I can scrounge up a few things to sell. The main thing is just want a few more hyper potions in XP. Because I imagine the guys here are going to be very, very unforgiving. I don't want to catch it right now. Do that. I already started attacking it. And who's in here? Oh, this guy. Now that would be worth getting. Let's try a quick ball. Oh, critical quick ball. Come on, Teddy, let's go. Now that's nice. Okay, only almost an hour in, and I'm going to refresh the counter. 326, 326, 326. There we go. Now I need the mid form. It is thought that uh, Conk Elder taught humans how to make concrete more than 2,000 years ago. There we go. All those weird veins, you just give it a little paper cut and BAM! It's dead. Is that Terrakion? Well, Boldor's there. I may as well try and quick ball it too, I suppose. For the most part, I'm just trying to get XP. And catching things doesn't give XP in Gen 5. Oh, thank goodness. Two back-to-back -back easy catches. Nice. 327, 327. 
350 would be nice today, but don't hold your breath. When it overflows with power, the orange crystal on its body glows. It looks for underground water and caves. You mean red crystal. That doesn't look very orange. No, that's a boulder. Here comes Loudred. Let me hit this right here. Gigalith probably will just happen next level. It'll take a, be too annoying to level up right now, so we'll just leave it. 1885. And let's just bump into some Pokemon here, since apparently this is where the really high-level chums show up. No, this is a hack friend. Uh, Pokemon don't evolve by trading here. Break it, little ant. Man, I cannot damage this, these things to save my life, can I? Whatever, I'm gonna outrage it. Oh, wow. I got a crit. Okay, that's good. If I can find Conk Elder here, I want to see what else I can run into. This top floor room might have some serious, like... There could be a legendary here, for all we know. If they put Moltres in the outside. Golbat. I do not have Golbat. Getting Crowbat is going to be a pain in the ass, but hey, we can get started with him. Let's get it. Friendship Evos have been relatively easy in this game, though, right? And Recharged Yellow, they're taking a freaking eternity. And I can't even get the Soothe Bell there. Easily, anyway. 328, 328, 328. There we go. Its sharp fangs puncture the toughest of hides and leave small holes for greedily sucking blood. Ew. Ew. Okay, let's see what else we got here. I had repels on for a little bit. Ah, uh, come on, Durant. I don't want to fight you. You take too long. Axorus isn't, like, immediately the best for any of the Elite Four. The Elite Four are probably going to have, like, more coverage, too. Absolutely. I do need Rhyperior. I should just need to level it up while it's holding the Protector. And I believe I got Rhyhorn, like, early in the game somewhere. Let's get these. I don't know if any legendaries are in the dust clouds, but to be fair, there have been legendaries only in the shaken grass, so it makes sense. 329. Vector Room Road wasn't too bad, except for that last guy. Like, holy crap. Maybe it's because I've been playing this game, I don't find Recharge Yellow's challenge mode to be too difficult. Standing on its hind legs freed its forelegs and made it smarter. It's very forgetful, however. Yeah, Big Whoop, I can stand up too. You ain't special. The 1% spawns will take forever, I know. Okay. But, slowly catching Pokemon for a big dex like this is pretty fun. I really do enjoy playing a lot of these, and there's so many hacks out there, I'll never run out of content for it. Both for, like, dex runs and, um... Yeah, yeah both dex runs and nuzlocks, challenges, or whatever. Speaking of challenge stuff, something I've started looking into more. Um, do you guys know about retro achievements? I've been like trying, like setting that up lately to play some play some games on my own. It's basically like a thing you can set up and make an account on the site, and they have like their own achievement list for like classic games. I've been playing Castlevania: Dawn of Sorrow on my own with that. It's been fun getting the achievements for no damage for killing the bosses, and they actually have a lot of like. So a surprising amount of ROM hacks there as well with achievement lists. You can play Kalos Crystal, Blue Kaizo, Polished Crystal, even Fire Red Team Rocket Edition is there too. Like, a lot of the hacks I've played, like Renegade Platinum, just have full achievement lists that are compatible there. Yeah, Fool's Gold as well. 
All right. I was thinking maybe for some get time, I could do like an achievement hunting stream for that. Right now, I'm just kind of playing stuff that I've already played a thousand times, though, just for, to relax and unlock stuff. I'll become the top. I'll have the highest amount of points on the whole site, and everyone will have to respect me. There we go. I think I looked at the page for Digimon World 1. Damn it. And it has, like, over 100 achievements, and it's like, oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Yay. Oh, I'm gonna do- I'll probably do a, a dex run of Blaze Black 2 sometime, but it'll probably feel similar to this, so I'll probably take a break, you know what I mean? Not to mention, I'd also play Blaze Black 2 Redux, so that one will be pretty enhanced for sure. Do all achievements for what game? I don't know. You mean Digimon World? I don't know. Now, I've done 100% Prosperity, and I plan to do it again, but holy crap. Here comes Loudred. This is working okay, fighting this guy, so we'll do it. In Blaze Black 2, all the legendaries have proper locations. It's more fun than random 1%. Yeah, that is good. Um, like, cause this was one of the, like the first Dreano hacks, right? And at this stage in Pokemon, there's so many legendaries, you can't really easily just add a location to place make like place them on the world, right? I don't know. Listen, I know it's it's probably sounds fun for me to try the achievements for um, Digimon World, and I probably will set it up when I'm doing 100 Prosperity. But some of those achievements are absolutely like disgustingly annoying to do, even for Digimon World standards. I'll tell you what. When I'm when I do 100 Prosperity, I'll set up retro achievements for it, and we can unlock as we play. And depending on how close we are by the end, well, if we could do it, but. Doubtful. Like, do you know how you true 100% Digimon World 1? You have to get every single Digimon, which means you have to let your Digimon die over and over and wait several hours for it to evolve into every possible path. And that is, like, the most goddamn boring thing you could ever do with your life. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Digimon World 1 has 219 achievements. Oh, yeah, that's even worse. And the arena as well. Oh, don't even get me started on that. <clears throat> Pardon me. That's be that has to be one of those things where I'd have to clean it up on my own time. It'd be too boring to stream some of that. But playing Digimon World 1 for uh, the stuff is that. All cards as well. Oh, I forgot about the card mechanic. That was That's terrible, too. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Like, if I do an achievement run of a game I've already played, it had to be something, like, fun and wholesome, like Paper Mario. Because that could be fun. Except I'd have to do all 64 Chuck Quizmo quizzes. Oh, hang on. Chat, was my microphone just being funky? It looked like my VTuber wasn't reacting to it. And my mouth just stayed closed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You also have to get every single technique in the game. Oh, hell no, I'm not doing that. Hell no. That would take longer than recruiting every Pokemon in Explorers of Sky. That's brutal. All right. Get out. There we go. I think maybe I should attempt the Elite Four now. Spend all my money. If I die, I'll just go back in and I'll keep getting more XP from them. I don't think I'm going to first try these guys. So let's do this. If that's the case... Mm, I got enough revives now. Thing is, I just need Hyper Potions to heal after the revives. Okay. Is 
could start with you, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I think I might let Haxorus go at it first. Chat, Chandelure doesn't have Levitate as an ability, right? I I'm pretty sure it had something else, I want to say. What else do we have here? Anything worth selling? I have the amulet coin, but I'd rather use the lucky eggs. <laughs> Can't buy that. All right, then. Man, I really don't have anything worth selling right now, do I? Okay. I guess I'll just go at it right now without healing. And I'll just, like, get as much money as I can from repeated attempts, because we've seen how bad the gym leaders are. They're, these guys are absolutely going to slaughter me. Pokemon League is where you both pursue strength and express it. The way to express it is simple. You just have to beat the Elite Four and Champion. You can start your challenge by battling any of the Elite Four, and if you defeat them all, you challenge the Champion. However, I warn you, once you start, there's no turning back. You must keep battling until you defeat them all, or are defeated yourself. You want to go in? So I believe if you beat the four Elite Four members and die, you don't have to beat them again. It lets you just continue on to the castle, right? I'm pretty sh reasonably sure it does that. Not save. Okay. Quick little drink there. I don't even know if they're all going to be single, double battles, or mix it up. Let's find out. Teddy's about to get severely spooked. Are you ready, chat? Eyes brimming with dark flame, this man rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four Ghost Type user, Chantal, and I... I didn't know how to... I, I didn't understand what the pun in her name was for the longest time until I realized that she has the word haunt in the middle of her name. That's why she's the Ghost Type user. And I shall be your opponent. Alright. Spooky time. How brutal is she gonna be? Six Pokemon, and it's a double. Oh boy. I was, let's assume they're all gonna be doubles then. We can do this. Go for a Dragon Dance, and you're going to Leaf Storm Golurk. Let's do it. Golurk's probably gonna Earthquake. Ah, uh, just barely enough. Okay. That's the case. I probably should have tried and clawed the lurk. Hurricane? Uh oh. That's gonna hurt. Come on. Alright, already down. Already music stops, everybody. Damn, Boopy got destroyed immediately. That hurricane is no joke. Flame Orb? Huh? Wait, does he have guts? Or is there another reason he wants to Flame Orb? Should save Hound Doom here. Do this. Let's see. Hmm. Alright, let's make sure we get rid of uh, Golder quickly. Let's see if we can get a boost off you. Never mind, everybody. She's going to full restore. Flare Boost is a 50% buff to special attack when burnt. I didn't even know there was an ability called Flare Boost until now. I'm going to be honest. That's how little I know about Driftblum, apparently. Is he the only one that gets that ability? Shadow Ball. It's exclusive to Driftloon line as a hidden ability. Okay. Does Flint even get it in BDSP? <laughs> well, this is pretty pathetic. We're getting slaughtered. Guess we're gonna need to outspeed now. Be 
see. Do that. Beginnings are important, whether it's a good novel or a good battle. So let's hit them both with Snarl, why don't we? Go for the Ancient Power Boost. This should be strong enough for both of them. There we go. It's going right now. I feel like we're going to be banging our head against a wall here for a little while, but we're getting XP with each attempt. Okay. Everyone gets a little bit. Okay, Jellicent. And Frostlass. Okay, I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse. Maybe I should lower their special attack, though, by doing this. Because I'm not going to one-shot them like this. I could soften them up and weaken their attack power. And I could try this to maybe get the boost. And we can get hit by Blizzard. That's also good. Drifblim hit used Hurricane and immediately slaughtered my starter. It froze me? Oh, yeah, this one's... Oh, we're done. We're cooked, chat. Good thing I spent my money. I need that boost. Trying to hydro pump me. Well, um, okay. Houndoom dodged it. Just put Houndoom out of its misery like this, why don't you? Hang on. I thought you had to get hit by flame. You would have to get hit by flame for just using a fire move in later gens. Or, no, only Flame Wheel falls you out. Oh, okay, I see. Well. <laughs> this is silly. And Flare Blitz does it as well. Okay. Chat, we are getting, like, we are getting so spooked right now. It's not even funny. Hmm. Finish you off. Do this. Can't shadow ball my Ursa. Yeah, let's do it. Maybe I can still win. <laughs> I can get XP is what I can do. Everyone, I'm keeping everyone with the lucky egg because if I give them their main items, they're just gonna get less a XP, and we're not even we don't even know what we're doing yet. It's definitely best to just let my, um, let my team gain as much XP as possible while we figure out what their strats are. Okay, Scald Chandler. Okay, nice. Damn, ha, huh? welcome, friend. Oh, it's not enough. Not the Ursa! Don't hurt teddy bears! Oh, that's not good. Jellicent used Recover. Moves that can thaw you when you use them yourself are Flame Wheel, Sacred, uh, Sacred Fire, Flare Blitz, Fusion Flare, Scald, Steam Eruption, Burn Up, Pyro, and Pyro Ball, uh, Scorching Sands, and Matcha Gotcha. All right. Oh, no, Teddy. My low tick finishing off. Disabled, huh? Great, can't use Slash. Ah, what a pain. Come on. 75. Can we still do it? Okay, my low tick is doing a decent enough job walling the opponents here. And there's still another one. Damn, we're down to the last two. If I could just burn Miss Magius, that might help. But they're ganging up on me, I'm pretty much dead. Not that burning would cut their attack power. Ah, oh, man. Not even confident that Scald would have been able to kill them. All right, they're gonna have to finish me off. They got Shadow Ball. Blech. Not bad. 
We could try we could try out each elite four member one by one. We don't have to beat Chantal before we move on to testing the other four. Or three. I have no money to lose. You can't t call me a loser. The goal today is still to at least beat Getsis. I think we can do it. We're only like an hour in. I'm operating under the assumption they'll all be double battles, so... For Grimsley... Let's just keep the lowest level Mons up front. See if they can just, like, get the XP they need. I have no money to lose, unless I win a battle. Let's do it. Okay, let's see what Grimsley's got. I wish I had frickin' escalator carpet. Chat, who has the fanciest comfy room? There's like no TV or something up there, though. It's kind of lame. Chantal's got at least got the cool desk. And you can read lots of books. Hi. Oh man, what is going on today? Challengers coming one after another. Well, no matter. I'm Grimsley of the Elite Four, and I will fulfill my duty to be your opponent. Caitlyn's got a bed, because she's sleepy. Okay, also six. Double. Yep. Carpino and Lipard. 71. Let's assume Lipard's probably going to go for a fake out. Hmm. Hmm. Let's immediately go for this then. Nope, it didn't go for fake out. Wild charge? And you use it on the dragon type? What are you doing? I didn't even know Lipar could learn that. Oh! Critical hit, chat. Critical hit. Ah. <sighs> Critical hit, chat. Well, at least I took the shark down. Rocky helmet on the rough skin Pokemon. You little jerk. Well, can't send in you guys. His wild charge. Maybe let Boopy do it. I wonder if he's got, like, choice band on it or something. Punch Crow? Uh-oh. Let's finish you off with this so I get my boost. Thunder Punch you. Charm. You can't charm the teddy bears. Be funny if they tried to use it on Boopy. Okay, we're at plus two special. I love how they all have their own, like, unique battle background, even though it's just the colors of the rooms. There's Brave Bird, yep. I can't send in Boopy without a random flying move just coming to kill it now. Oh, it's Life Orb! And it's got Moxie. Oh. First time I've seen it activated on a Haunch Pro. Come on. Not enough damage. Not good. Do I go for the Intimidate now? Hmm. Probably should. Or just let Tokikiss go for it. Probably gonna full restore the Haunch Crow anyway. I need XP more. Okay, let's do it. Absol. Should only have pressure, right? Let's make sure we get rid of Haunch Crow for sure. Yep, I thought so. Get rid of Haunch Crow before it, uh activates its, um... Oh, yeah, it'll probably have super luck. You're right. Before it gets to make use of that Moxie. Megahorn. Uh-oh. Come on, Ursa. Come on. Too bad I'm not Fairy-type. I could slaughter here for sure. Ursas get stronger. Okay. 
Bashar. No King Gambit for you, but this thing's probably... I, I think we I asked this last time, but Bisharp is buffed in this hack, is it? Or maybe it's not, because this was long before uh, yeah, King Gambit, so why would they? Okay. Try attack you. Try and go for the Bulldoze like this. Stone Edge. I don't know if they thought Bisharp might have been weak enough to want to buff it anyway. Sharp is decently strong in Gen 5, right? Is Bisharp good at, still good enough to be worth using an Eviolite on? Yes? Yes, yes, Bulldoze. Let's go. That did nothing. Wow, the spread damage there sucked. Okay, then. Ah, it doesn't matter. All right, no problem, we down. At least Togekiss is gonna take you out. It's because Ursa got hit by Charm. You're right, I totally forgot about that. Yay. Gang Gambit's just so much better and everything, yeah. And a huge HP buff. Wait, doesn't he have Defiant? I can't send in Houndoom now. Uh-oh. Teddy fell in love. No, no, no. Teddy laughs at the idea of love. That's the wrong emote. Hang on. Wait, you have a Hound Doom with Intimidate. You jerk. You jerk. This is Teddy laughing at your love. Look at him and laugh, everybody. Laughing bears. Oh. I just need to put that on again, because why not? Okay, anyways, we're going to die. We are going to super die. Let's at least get rid of one. Sucker punch, whatever. That's right, we have a new emote. New emote of me, too. I'm dead. Scald you. It sashed? Oh, man. Oh, and now he might full restore it. Well, no choice now. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Finish him off. That's good. We might actually win. Hidden power? What? Does he have hidden power like water or ground? Maybe? Okay, not bad. Someone wins a battle without doubt. Someone else has lost the battle. That's the way of battle. We did it, and he gave lots of money. Whether or not you get to fight at full strength, whether or not luck smiles on you, none of that matters. Only results matter, and a loss is a loss. See, victory shines like a bright light, and right now you and your Pokemon are shining brilliantly. Now I'm nothing more than the guy who lost. Nothing more, nothing less. You should take that strength and test it on the rest of the Elite Four. Everyone's dead, and I can't afford to spend my money. Well... We're basically scouting, because all of them are absolutely stupid strong. Scouting and grinding, basically, yeah. I know you. You were in the battle frontier. That thing that we keep trying to pretend doesn't exist for some reason. Who are you? How impudent to disturb my sleep. Hmm. You appear to possess a combination of strength and kindness very well. Make your best effort not to bore me with a yawn-inducing battle. Clear? Space bed. She looks like the type of person that would like Kleffa's. That explains her attitude. Musharna and Sigilith. 
I am going to die. I'm going to super die, chat. Let's see if we can take one of them out with us. Ice beam him. You like Kleppas? Mods? You know what to do. You know what to do. Nice. Houndoom's pretty good, both for the ghost and psychic person, so... If I somehow win this, that would be amazing. Oh, light screen? Oh, hell no. We're, we're, we're doomed. No way I can kill Musharna before I can set that up. Get the feeling a wonderful time about to start. Okay. Let's go for it. Who knows? Maybe we can pull it off, chat. He's gonna focus blast Houndoom. Unless... These two are going for it. These two are gonna go, go for it right now. Mobilized by love. Trick room. Well. Okay. Let's keep snarling. And let's let you recover once. Is setting up reflect? Mobilized by love. Chat, this happened before in a gym battle, didn't it? It let me win by absolute scum strats. Alright. Oh! Vertical hit on Reuniclus. Chat. Chat, we're actually still going. We're actually still going right now. What's happening? The EM. Okay, Snarl. Attract. Full Restore. Okay. My favorite fact about infatuation status is that in competitive Pokemon, uh, female Pokemon are better because Enamorous is always a girl and uses infatuation strats. <laughs> well, ladies are winning that one. That's funny. Chat, how far do you think I can get in this battle? How, how far do you think I can actually go with this strat? It's working. It's somehow actually working. What's going on? Energy ball? Uh-oh. It used it on Houndoom? Really? And it got a crit. Of course it did. Okay. Okay. They can't hurt us. They can't hurt us. Let's do this. Let's go for the Psy Shock. Immobilized by love. Oh my god, we're still- we're still doing this. We're still doing this. What's happening? What the heck is happening right now, chat? <laughs> okay. 75. Good. Good. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Okay, now you're Psychic Dark in this. Still, we want to make sure we lower your stats. You're also a girl, so we don't really have much of a choice. I can't attract anymore, so let's scald you and hope I burn, maybe. Houndoom is shutting them down, yeah. Light screen is still up, though. I'm pretty sure the Musharna is probably holding the clay. It's making sure those screens stay there forever. Psy shock. Mm-hmm. Trick room in again. Not bad. Now we should make sure we just target Gothitel. Let's do it. Going for the Psy Shock. Oh boy! We can do it. Focus Blast. There it is. Houndoom avoided! Houndoom avoided, everybody! We're alive. Sorry, I got a little excited there. Oh, it's got a berry. 
It's got a berry. Come on, crit. Crit. Light screen wore off. Okay. Let's go for the snarl now. No. Best to do is that on Gothitelle and recover with you. Yeah, I would go for it right away. No problem. No problem. Critical hit. Milo took you as recover. Come on. We're still we're still kicking. We're still kicking. Ow. Uh-oh. Great. Does it have heat proof or not? No idea. <sighs> and it's gonna end the steel steel still resists dark at this point. These are the last two Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> I need to snarl them, and I need my low tick to recover. Hang on. Hang on. He's going Gyro Ball. I thought I was gonna die right away. I'm winning. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not bad. My low tick leveled up. Reflect wore off. Does it have heat proof or uh, what's the other one? I can't remember. I can maybe make it flinch. Tri no, Trick Room is still active. I'm gonna have to just find out the hard way. Let's do it. Let's do it. Heat proof or levitate. Okay, it's got rest. That's a problem. We're about to find out then. Am I winning? Yeah, apparently I am. And it wakes up immediately with a Chesto Berry. Come on. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Holy crap. Holy crap. We're actually going to win. We're act How the hell did I win this? How the hell did I win this? These two didn't even enter at full health and they're my only Pokemon. How the heck did I win that? I don't... I have lucky eggs on too. Amazing. You haven't faced all members of the Elite Four yet, have you? Don't concern yourself with me about me. Go on, go on ahead. Um. Well, okay. Uh, should I just use my uh, re revives now? <laughs> First fight that went well, and I went in completely underprepared and everything. I might as well make it a proper run to uh, respect the progress that has been made accidentally. All right, let's use my revives. I mean, I also could just save between each fight. Be a little cheesy though. How many potions? We got two max and we got three hyper potions. Boy. All right, then. <laughs> Could use the two max potions, I guess. Ah. Uh... All right. Ah, uh, I'll have to look elsewhere for money if this fails, then. Okay, Marshall can absolutely slaughter me. May as well go to him next since we haven't fought him. Um, hang on a second. For my low tick, do I have... Ah, this'll do. Yeah! I have no money to really buy more, no. 
I spent my money and I just earned money by uh, beating those two, yeah. I say I keep the lucky eggs on because clearly I need the levels. Now, yeah, question is, what the hell could he, could he start with? Better save Houndoom as a pocket to uh, intimidate when needed. Odds are I could probably... I don't think he's going to have flying moves to hit Boopy. Hmm. You know, I could start with Houndoom and Boopy so that Boopy can soften him up while Boopy can... Sorry, Houndoom can soften him up with Intimidate while Boopy can build the Leaf Storm. To try that. Alright, let's go. Let's go. No saving between them. We're gonna go for it. I don't know how the hell that Caitlyn fight happened. I don't know how the hell I won that. I was expecting to lose, and somehow I just won with the Tract and Snarl. He's probably gonna pack rock moves, which is why I should probably switch Houndoom. This ring is terrible. There's only like gate. There's only like uh, edges on on the north and south part. Come on. Greetings, challenger. Name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I am training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and has taken an interest in you. It is my intention to test you, to take you to the limits of your strength. P.I. Alright, here we go, chat. Get your serious teddy stuff on. Let's do it. Six Pokemans. He's starting with throwing Sock. One of them's got Sturdy. Pretty sure it's the blue one. We wandered into the wrong neighborhood. Sesame Street is not greeting us today. Okay. Hmm. Start with that one, then. If he's gonna go for a rock move... I don't really have a good switch in for that, do I? <laughs> no. Hmm. I'll do that then. They wouldn't even hit stab on my low tick if this goes well. Plus my low tick can set up a tract. Alright, it's building. Yeah, it went stone edge. Don't crit, please. Superpower? Attack fell, defense fell. Oh, okay, he's got the flame orb. No problem. We're gonna leaf storm you, finish you off. He doesn't take burn damage because of guts. And we're just gonna attract Sock. That 90 accuracy is gonna blow up in my face, just watch. I'm at plus four, baby. Let's do it. Everybody gets a little bit. Houndoom gets a little bit more. Good thing neither of them got Ice Punch, you're telling me. It's going close combat, he ain't messing around anymore. Ooh. Gonna get the most out of this. Okay, you're dying to the Leaf Storm, that's for sure. Okay, we'll do this. And we're gonna go ahead and Scald you. Oh, the 90 accuracy, man. Okay. Never mind. Salic Berry raised its speed. Infatuation. Oh no. Dude, this, Bert and Ernie are not messing around today. Polyrath got what? Uh oh. Oh, they're making sure I'm not gonna outspeed them now. Okay, so much for that. Hmm. Best, maybe the best to use Ursa now. Why Icy Wind did not Ice Punch, though? He's probably, it, probably to make sure that my speed, yeah. Okay. Let's get both of them. Yeah, I figured he'd use a full restore, the little jerk. On his freaking Pokemon with Sturdy, of all things. Brick Break! I mean, Ursa was gonna get hit by a fighting move no matter what, let's be real.
Full restore doesn't cure a track status, right? Right? I actually didn't think about that. Oh, come on, you little jerk. You got Awaken Barry. All right, then. Both of them are attracted. Let's see if they can get hit. Come on. Okay. And he got the close combat. They're still attracted. And it didn't work. He's trying to go for Waterfall now. Possibly to make Flinch happen. Come on. Sturdy. Damn, I should have attacked Ernie. Or Bert. Okay, there goes one. We're still alive. This is gonna be a bit rough. That thing can fake out. Okay. Just go and hit something if you can. I'm hoping you survive a turn. Yeah, you are going down. Milo Tick can still recover and keep Sock kind of stunned at least. This would probably be a good place to uh, send out Houndoom again. For the Intimidate, I mean. No, what am I saying? If I send out Togekiss, I'll get hit by Stone Edge, probably. There's no Ice moves in play anymore, probably, so maybe Haxorus should do this. Let's get rid of Mian Xiao and hope the stun keeps with Sock. Because if I get rid of Sock, something uh, more powerful is going to come out and it'll be potentially able to hit me. So let's do this. Payback. Why is it using Payback of all things? All right. Half day. Oh, nice, nice. And I'm- Oh, it took itself out from the recoil. That means we're gonna have to hit him with Scald now. I have no choice. This is good. Let's do it. Becky is getting wet, boy. Is there one Pokemon left or two? Let's find out. I still have my Intimidator left on backup. Punk Elder and... For Loom. Oh, that's that's scary. That's pretty freaking scary. Do I go for the Blind Outrage? I would say so. For Loom is probably going to freaking hit me with Seed Bomb, so I need to ice it right away. So you know what? Hang on. We need to make sure Berloom goes freaking down. If I can. I always get a random crit. Let's go. Oh. Oh, oh wait. Bullet seed. Okay. No, that's technician. Technician. I forgot he gets that. Never mind. Okay. I'm doomed. <laughs> At least I know I outspeed it. Okay. Stone edge on you. What else is new? Well, doesn't matter who comes out. Let's start with the Intimidate user. Okay, we'll do this. And we're gonna make sure Verloom dies. For crying out loud, just let it die. Mock Punch. Come on. Conk Elder doesn't have guts here, right? I hope to hell it doesn't. Because if I, if I burn it here... That'd be bad. Set him on fire. Good damage. Oh, Houndoom missed. Chat, we got him. Chat, we actually won. We did it again. Teddy's win. Do you see this, Teddy? We're gaming right now. Holy moly. Strength and strive to grow. That's why I respect you, because you have these things. Heck yeah. Well, now I'm gonna have to just fight Chantal. As your battle continues, aim for greater heights. 
Now, we need to worry about the hurricane at the start. We gotta take out Drifloon right right away. Sorry, Dripblim. I always mix those two up. Do I have any potions left? I have a four full restorers. I'm gonna have to use those. <laughs> I think I might just save before this because I don't have all, all day. I could just use the max revives as well. This is the best place to use them. They'll just sit in my inventory for the rest of time. Scouting mission went much better than I thought. Okay, so we know I can't start with Boopy. Hmm. So, let me think here. Let me think. I could start with Houndoom, immediately go for the freaking Dark Pulse against it. Maybe the Ancient Power as well. No, if I start with my low tick, I can go for Ice Beam on it. Uh, the problem is that thing goes for Earthquake right away. So maybe I should start with Togekiss, so Golder can't hurt Earthquake both of them. I can Ancient Power the Driftlim and also Ice Beam. That would probably kill it. Yeah, let's try that. All right then, fine. Let's go. Make another save. So why not? Let's see if we can do this, chat. Let's do it. We're gonna win. We're gonna get spooky and everything's gonna be great. Eyes brimming with dark flames. We read this one. Excuse me, challenger. I shall be your opponent. All right. It's go time. Spooky lady wants to fight. Now let's hope the blimp will go down quickly. And if I get the ancient power boost, that would be even better. Ice Beam on Driplum. Ancient Power on Driplum. If I freeze it, that'd be even better. Okay. Oh, we both outspeed. Good, 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 good. Kill, 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 kill. Okay, problem is gone. It's only gonna be able to Earthquake my low tick, and I can Scald you next turn. I hope. That hits pretty hard. Going for Miss Magius right away. Okay. I'm gonna Scald you, and I'm gonna use Yawn on Miss Magius. Thunderbolt! Oh. Damn. You're fine. Because I can't try attack in this battle, which is my best option with Togekiss. Going for Earthquake again. Levitate, that's why. Looks like um, Milotic's gonna have to go down here, I'm afraid. At this point, we could go for Snarl. That would probably take it out, take out Golurk before it has a chance to do anything else. And also weaken the Magius while it sleeps. At least its Earthquake will be weakened if it manages to get that off. Snarl. And Psychic Golurk to hit it more, in case it somehow lives this. Okay, this is good. This is good. Look at all the cheering Teddy Ursus in chat today. I mean, it's pretty handy that we got multiple extra cheer emotes today. What'd you do? Special attack row sharply. Did it just use Acupressure? Or did it use Nasty Plot? Posture check, don't mind if I do. Okay, there's Frostlass. Probably best to just go for the kill, because if this Magius can wake up at any point, so we'll do this, and we'll Ancient Power, please don't freeze me again. It was Nasty Plot. Full Restore! Should've saw that coming, to be honest. Hang on, let me down some water, too. Not Blizzard. Shoutouts to everybody that told me to not keep Snarl for as long as I did. <laughs> you were all wrong. 
Once again, Umu Anime Boy was correct. <laughs> you see that, Teddy? Too smart. I haven't seen the Ancient Power boost me and, uh, since ancient times. Let's do it. Okay, here comes the Jellicent. Another thing to use Snarl on, I'd say. Hmm. Finish off the Miss Magius, I think. Yay. All right. We're lowering the power of the Jellicent. This is good. First body, Snarl's disabled. Well, so much for that. Come on. Didn't even put my real held items on. We're doing it. Okay. I said I always wanted to use a Houndoom in a main playthrough, and this is the best Houndoom I've ever used in my life. It's making me proud. Okay. Once again, let's go for Snarl. Oh, wait, I can't do that. What am I <laughs> I'm forgetting things? Okay, let's take out the Chandelure. I got two Ancient Powers left. Hit, hit, hit you, if we can. If I make you flinch, even better. I snarled, so it's it's a uh, attack power wasn't able to take me out. Don't worry. Okay. I lowered its special attacks, what I'm trying to say. Also, that sh chandelier went down super quick. Oh, it dodged. We did it. Chat, we're actually going to do it. My team was way better than I thought. Did it. Teddy's win yet again. Wow, I'm dumbstruck. I know a lot of words, but right now I can't say any of them. This was supposed to be a scouting mission, and instead I beat them all. Challenger, if you defeat the entire Elite Four of the League, you can go challenge the champion, and you've earned that right. Return to the plaza in the center and check the statue. All right. Second try, Elite Four. All this because Houndoom and my low tick just slaughtered Caitlyn. <laughs> like it was nobody's business. Now we gotta deal with the story for a bit and do the end of the end battles. No problem. No problem, chat. First, let's run up here. Hello! It's over. Never again will Pokemon be made to suffer or be held captive by humans. Hey, I'm holding one. It's all thanks to my friend Zekrom. You may have the title of champion, but you can't stop me with the title. Your soft heart has left you weak. Years ago, you lost your Pokemon, your partner, to sickness. In order to forget the pain in your heart, you wandered Unova. Who knows how long it's been since you had to fight with your full strength. I actually kind of like that about you, though. As a trainer who far outmatches the champion, I shall issue an order across Unova. Trainers of the world, free your Pokémon! I beg you, separating people from Pokémon, do anything but that! You and I both put our beliefs on the line and fought with all our strength, and I won. Do not say another word. Man, really? Like, he trounced the Elite Four with a Legendary, and he's like, I'm the best! What a weenie. I have been waiting. In the future I envisioned, you obtained a stone, and indeed you have. That light stone, Zekrom is responding to it. Stop. This is not a suitable place for the legendary dragons. From the ground, rise up. The castle of Team Plasma surround the Pokemon League. Oh. This cutscene. The funky cutscene. Ba, 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 ba. Whoa! How did they build this? How did they build this? I, I how? Where did it come from? Also, is it glitching? I think it's glitching. It's getting confused what screen it's supposed to display on. 
Also, thanks for the sub there, Nuke. Appreciate it. Whoa! My eyes. It seems confused, yeah. What has just appeared is Team Plasma's castle. The king's words will resound from the heights to all below. You must come to the castle as well. Everything will be decided there. Whether Pokemon will be liberated from people, or whether Pokemon and people will live together. We will see whose belief is stronger, and our result will change the world. Oh boy. Hey. Mr. Alder, you're a wreck. Not fitting for a champion. You did well to get this far. Somehow I beat the Pokemon League, but it wasn't easy. Ugh, I have to congratulate you. I became stronger because I understood what I want to do. Asprey, tell N this. Some people grow stronger by being with Pokemon. My Pokemon and I are proof. Together we learned and became stronger. I lost. I should have been able to demonstrate the bond between me and my Pokemon. That would have shown that brat the worthlessness of his outrageous dreams. So his convictions were the real thing. Be careful. The ones who change the world are always the ones who pursue their dreams. I ask you this. Even if Pokemon and people are separated, nothing good will come of it. Please let him know that. Alright. Hmm. Hang on, let me make a save here. From what I recall, DS can only do 3D on one screen at a time. The way they achieved the cutscenes was by rendering the frames alternatively between the screens, something the emulator can't handle well. Alright, that's interesting. All right. All right, let's do it, chat. Final battle's up ahead. We don't have to fight the Elite Four again, even if we die. Those in accord with fate are preserved, and those who rebel against fate perish. When the way is forgotten, duty and justice appear. One can lose the forest for the trees. You make a mistake and do not correct it. That is a second mistake. Okay, goober. Superior men understand what is right. Inferior men understand what what will sell. Dude's like plugging his Sigma male like podcast with that tagline there. There are not two suns in the sky, nor two sovereigns over the people. Or sovereign, sovereigns, 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 whatever. Well, if anything should happen to our king, it would be disastrous. It would ruin Getsus's perfect plan. Our Lord N will be disappointed, but the six of us shall defeat you here. Can you manage that? Whoa! Still standing, are you, Asprey? Your drip fails. Ain't just me. It's everybody except the first gym leaders. And Iris, too. So sorry, not only are we stronger than you, but there are a lot of us. Accursed gym leaders. Ignoring Team Plasma, that would be a terrible thing for us gym leaders to do. Bianca asked us to come, too. I'm fine, don't worry. No need to worry. Holder of the Lightstone, please proceed. Alright. They're gonna get skedaddled now, chat. Hang on, which way do I go? Hmm. They're in the middle of the lunch rush right now. Yeah, they're too busy for this. Everyone but them showed up. Bianca was like, nah, even they're too weak. Um. Oh, what now? In this castle, you may rest your Pokemon and access your PC. Fear not. First, have your Pokemon rest in that room. When they are healed, it is our Lord N's wish you be moved to the innermost part of the castle. All right. Hey, it's you two. You two uniquely designed characters that do like literally nothing. Like actually nothing. I am Athena. Trainer, before you go confront my Lord N, please take a moment to rest. They don't even have official art. They just like, you can see a glimpse of them in like the opening cutscene. 
Good. Both you and your Pokemon regained energy. Trainers battle to practice their skills and grow in experience, but never to hurt their Pokemon. My Lord N has realized this deep down in his heart, but he has spent too much painful time here in the castle to admit it. I am Concordia. I give peace and comfort to N. N has been separated from people since he was young. He was brought up with Pokemon. Pokemon that were betrayed, mistreated, and hurt by bad people. Getsis deliberately brought only those poor Pokemon closer to N. N was touched by their plight and started pursuing his ideals, thinking only of Pokemon. N's heart is pure in innocence. There is nothing more beautiful and terrifying than innocence. Deep words. Didn't they say there was a PC in here? Not here. Bulbapedia doesn't even bother to give them separate pages, yeah. Haha, we Team Plasma are using the Pokemon we took from others all along. Poor little Pokemon. They had to do what we told them. Okay, you big weenie. Our Lord N proved he's stronger than the champion. Now many trainers will admire Lord N and follow his orders. In other words, they'll do whatever Team Plasma says. No, they won't. What are you gonna do, make me? You know what's gonna happen? If this actually happened in real life, you know what would happen? N would just, like, make a social media post being like, everyone release your Pokemon, and everyone would just make make fun of them. That's what would happen. I'm sorry, but I know how, the, how this actually works. I have a giant dragon, though. <laughs> yeah, one that you cheated. Everything is going perfectly as Getsus of the Seven Sages calculated and planned. He's been thinking about how he can manipulate people's hearts as he wishes. We had been secretly building this castle for several years by overworking Pokemon we took away. Without being noticed by anyone. Like... <laughs> we kidnapped Pokemon, forced them to do hard labor, and... But we're here to save everyone. No, that's all just a trick. N is just stupid and doesn't know he's being tricked. Ha 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 ha. T Plasma is so funny. Our young wanderer, you surprised? This castle's the hub of Team Plasma's no getsis of the Seven Sages scientific capability. A manifestation of knowledge. I'm held here against my will. Please help me. Now we can even infiltrate the Pokemon storage system inside every trainer's PC. If our king wills it, we can steal every Pokemon stored in a PC box and release them all. Dude, they're about to do the do the ultimate hack. Alright. N doesn't know he's being manipulated at all, nah. As part of his plan to take Pokemon away from their people, Lord N entrusted some Pokemon to me. I've been spending time with them, and I don't think I want to let them go. I may not be cut out for Team Plasma. Imagine they steal a bunch of Clefas, and they force the Clefas to, like, just build things. Holy moly. They're gonna replace all my boxes with Clefas. Oh, no! This Pokemon's become attached to me, but as far as I'm concerned, a Pokemon is just a simple tool. I don't understand. I don't know what these emotion things are, chat. I don't need an item to catch Pokemon anymore. Asprey obtained Ultra Ball. Pokeballs. From my point of view, there are items to keep Pokemon confined, but for trainers like you, they're a way to bond with Pokemon. If you run out of Pokeballs, come see me. I will give one to you. Oh ho ho. Making sure you can't get softlocked. You have to catch that Reshiram, buddy. Will you go to the Pokemon League? No, I see. Is this like the first NPC that gives the single Pokeball like that? A battle between you and our Lord N will reveal whether our Lord N is an ideal hero. It will also reveal how you feel about protecting the current world where people live with Pokemon. I think I want to protect the teddies. What do you guys think? Do you think we should uh, destroy the world or protect the bears? Personally, I am in favor of protecting the teddy bears. Hello again. That room was the world that was provided to our Lord N. Don't feel anything, even when I go into the room, but you may feel something. Raised in an enclosed environment. No wonder he's so messed up. He had to play with the same model train. 
There's not even a skateboard, but there's a cool-ass ramp here. Sweet, rare candy. I should use these, but it doesn't matter now. Art panel with printed geometric pattern. Toy box is full of new toys. He never played with them. Pieces of a train set. Basketball that looks like it's been used a lot. It says Harmonia on it. Who's Harmonia? I know who it is. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. Somewhere far from here, Team Galactic and Team Rocket drew too much attention to themselves. That's why their plans were thwarted. We're smart. Ha 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 ha. Full restore. Now, what's over here? What about you two? If we use Force to take Pokemon away from people, people will rebel. But if we manipulate their hearts, people will release their Pokemon voluntarily. A trainer who loved Pokemon until yesterday will release Pokemon today. Tomorrow, another trainer will let Pokemon go. No! I will not let go of the teddy bear. It is comfy in my arms and having a fun time. All right, I think this is the big one here. Does that mean there's nothing over here? Yeah, there isn't. All right, chat, 3.30 is probably gonna be Reshiram. Let's do it. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Ugh. Hi, it's you. You want to be friends? Welcome, holder of the Lightstone. The castle that appeared as if it were enveloping the Pokemon League is a symbol. It means Yanova will change. The king of this castle is the strongest trainer in the world. He's accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He's defeated the champion. Added to all that, his heart burns with desire to improve the world. If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? You just redeemed to remove the teddy? You are awful. There you go. You happy now, Team Plasma? If that's not what makes a hero, what more do you need? Now that the stage is set, we can seize people's minds and hearts. We can bring into being the world that I... No, that Team Plasma desires more easily than you can imagine. We and only we will use Pokemon, and we shall rule the powerless populace. I've been waiting so long for this. I've kept my silence so no one could piece together what I planned. Now those painful days are at an end. Go onward. Discover whether you have what it takes to be a hero. Oh, chat's redeeming to put the bear back now. Return the teddy. Rescue him. Teddy has been rescued. He has been returned safely to my arms. Go, holder of the lightstone. Learn whether you too can be a hero. Well... Save again, why not? Teddies have been rescued. We're all about saving them bears, chat. Now then. Well, look who it is. Oh, look, you got a fancy throne, too. What I desire is a world for Pokemon and Pokemon alone. I will separate Pokemon from people so Pokemon can regain their original power. Actually, someone in Paldia figured that out. They just needed a time machine for it. It's time to settle this once and for all. My determination is absolute. I will prove the value of my beliefs, even if it means my Pokemon friends get hurt. Since you've come this far, I believe you're equally determined. If that's so, prove it to me. Show me the depth of your determination. Big water hall. Okay, pal. You came all this way to battle me, but Reshiram's not responding. You haven't yet been recognized as the hero, have you? How disappointing. I actually kind of liked you a little. Through our many battles, I got the feeling you might be a trainer who truly cares for Pokemon. But I was kidding myself. The idea of trainers getting to know each other through battles is ridiculous. You have two options. Challenge me to a fight you can't win. Or leave this place and watch the birth of a new world where Pokemon are free of people. Zekrom, come to me. Oh, 
Here we go, another glitchy cutscene, it seems. Whoa. Whoa! Look at that lad there. He's getting wacky. Chat, I can't remember the last time I played Pokemon Black. Did the weird cutscenes get claimed? I can't remember. I feel like there was some issue with that. If I have to make a small edit for YouTube, whatever. I've been, ha I've been having to do that all week lately, it seems. Dun 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 Look at all them polygons. I have to use Reshiram, right? I have to add it to my team? What level would it be? The Light Stone, it's trembling inside the bag. Mm-hmm. Your Light Stone is... I mean, Reshiram is... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Pardon me. I can just not put it in my party. The light stone draws in the aura of the surroundings and converts it into a powerful force, which is now being released. Ooh. Look, it's a digi egg. Now you can, yeah, you can just put in the team, I'm pretty sure. You can just put in the team. Holy moly. Whoa. He's ready to hoot and holler. He's going turbo, too. Yeah! Only remember Alternate Crozma's Z move getting claimed. Yeah, some jackass made a compilation video of every Z move, and whenever people would use the Z moves in a casual playthrough, it would get claimed as matching footage, which was, like, so stupid. Zekrom and Reshiram. They were once one life, one Pokemon. Complete opposites, yet the same. Zekrom and Reshiram are Pokemon that appear before the hero they recognize. I see. You really are a hero, too. I'll tell you what the Pokemon's saying to you. I want to battle with you. Try to make me your friend and ally. It plans to test you to see if you're really pursuing truth. I also am curious to see how powerful you are. Now catch Reshiram and make it your ally. All right, quick ball it is. I'm Kaiba now. I'm about to get the blue eyes white dragon chat. Blue eyes white dragon. Save just in case. Hurrah. Yeah. It's time to duel. He's backseating my capture. That's right. I'm pretty sure in the Drayano hack, things aren't um shiny locked, right? A part of me kind of wants to use the Reshiram on my team anyway. Let's see. Go for the quick ball. Throw it in. Come on! One, two, three. Hey, look at that. 330. Let's add it to the decks, everybody. Excellent. Perfect. Reshiram's data was added to the decks. This Pokemon appears in Legends. It sends flames into the air from its tail, burning up everything around it. Nope. Transferred to the box. I don't need it to beat him. No, no, no. I don't need a Legendary to beat N. You're not gonna do it, hmm? Yeah, that's right. Because this is real big boy hours right now. I wonder, is Reshiram legal in a Nuzlocke for this? I, I assume most people would say no. Unless Zekrom and Reshiram on N's team are freaking stupid. Hold on, your Pokemon are hurt. There's no triumph to be gained in battling a weakened opponent. This boy is about to get his crap beaten in. Now I'll create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. Let's do it, chat. It's Teddy time. It's a new area, technically. Yeah, but... Team Plasma N wants to fight. He's starting with Zekrom, no problem. Who is my lead Mon? Milotic. Well, this is a bit of a problem. He's level 73. I'm gonna go for the raw Ice Beam. Night Days, what's that? 
dark. Oh. What does that do, chat? Let's just, like, hit him with that. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can't. I didn't even think I'd do that. I was about to say, what is that move? I didn't recognize it. <laughs> well then, he's gonna go for a dark move again, no doubt. So would it be best to just send in Houndoom here or just let myself die? Hmm. He's gonna finish me off, surely. I can always reset if it goes bad. Somehow I didn't pick up on that. I thought he was just gonna lead with Zekrom to screw me. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. What? No, 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 no. Why would you do that? Why would it hit? Okay, now you're pissing me off, you little jerk. He hit the focus blast. Of course he did. Of course he did. Let's do this then. Let's focus. Only the AI hits. Yes. Stop hitting me! I thought Zek I thought you weren't supposed to be fast. The one I used was slow as hell last time. Okay. Finish him off. Holy crap, that pissed me off. Is he insanely fast? Could have sworn the one I used in Black and White 3 was garbage. Well now I'm screwed, basically. I I don't think I could win anymore now. That's how bad it's gotten. Damn. All right, let's go. Pretty much gonna get taken out now. That sucks. It would scald. Try attack. Are all of his Pokemon gonna be gemmed? All of them are gonna be gemmed, huh? Hmm. 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 <laughs> Okay, then. We'll die, and we'll just have to do it like this. Come on. Hit it with the Leaf Storm. What? You're not- You live that? How did he live that? <laughs> Are you serious? All right. Well, I guess I'm going in here then. Uh. All right. Finish him with Slash, I guess. No, N's gonna full restore. Man. Come on. Go for it. He's going for try attack. No, no, no. We're not getting used to a world without bears. We cannot deal with such unwholesomeness. Now, the next Pokemon coming out is probably just gonna, like, hit me with the... Uh, it's gonna hit me with a freaking um, gemmed move. So let's just take it, I suppose. Go for it. Yep, yeah, thought so. It seems like I may need to go grind because all of his Pokemon are gonna be stupid strong like this, aren't they? God dang. At least I can leave, right? I'm assuming anyway. Unless I can somehow like stack ancient power boosts, I might be screwed. Come on. He's going nasty plot now. Dang. Well, maybe a crit and a boost? Maybe a crit and a boost? Nope. Dude, when was the last time Ancient Power boosted me? It's supposed to be 20% with Serene Grace. It's supposed to be 20%, but it hasn't activated in like the last 100 uses, I swear. Well. 
least I can kill him with just a little bit of this. Man. Man. Did it actually work on Miss Magius? I don't think it did. But they were the one that boosted. Terravolt. He's level 75. Go for it. Go for it. Go on. Come on. Come on. Critical hit. Let's go. Come on. You and me, buddy. Right now. You're dead. No more. Goodbye. I know I could probably outrage kill him. If I had this. Everyone does have their lucky eggs. It's life orbed. <laughs> it's life orbed? Wow. Alright, back to the center. Okay, that NPC right there takes me back to the castle. That's good. I'll have to switch up my items. For sure. But I also need a little bit of, uh experience still. Hang on, I need to buy some more stuff now. I don't really need that many hyper potions anymore. If anything, I should stock up on quick balls now. Because we don't need to revive at this point. Hang on. Buy some timer balls for the legendaries now. Excellent. That's so mean. It was an okay first try, but he all of his Pokemon are gemmed. What do I even have for dark types right there? He's got Focus Blast. Hmm. You see. I could attempt to hit him with Boopy's Leaf Storm two times in a row, because I don't think he's going to have a move that can, like, uh, take me out there. Haxorus absolutely needs more freaking XP. There's nowhere else to really train other than Victory Road, though. Bo -bo -bo -bo. Let's go. Let's get a little bit of XP here. Maybe check the dust clouds for Pokemon to fight. Give him that claw. Yeah, there we go. Penny Pom Pom's gonna win. Daddy and your sister are cheering, and they're having a good time. I think Reggie Ram would probably just, like, make the fight worse for me right there. It has no effort values at all, and it's clear that lots of ends Pokemon do. I'd be bodied if I put it in there. Okay, here we go. Take a little bit right there. You see, I know I'm looking for the legendary right now, but I think I want to put on a max repel. I want to see if the dust clouds can pop up because that would be give me better stuff, right? Let's try that. How long has it been? Damn, only like two and a half hours. That's pretty good. Okay, looking for the dust cloud. Come on. Wait for it to pop in. There it is. A dragon gem. Yay. Electric gem. Now, if I were to gem my own Pokemon, you know what I could do to start? What if I start with Boopy and I use a Grass Gem Leaf Storm? Oh, Dugtrio. I already got it, though. Would that I, would that possibly be enough to um, kill the uh, initial... kill the initial uh, Zoroark? I don't know. Maybe if Boopy had another level or two. I could also just save before I'm in Labbit. Okay. Not black and white, too, so there's that. That's right. Night days might lower my accuracy. That's a problem. That's the thing I'm worried about. Hmm. Does Zoroark have worse special defense or physical defense? Oh, wait, you're right. Contrary. If it lowers my accuracy, it'll just increase my accuracy. That's that's good. It's probably actually, yeah, using Boopy for the beginning is probably the best one. Oh, Steelix. All right, then. This will save me the trouble of evolving Onyx. Let's catch it. 
All right. Both, uh, both are at 60. Okay, I think that might work then. We'll try using Grass Gem, Leaf Storm. Uh, Boopy right away. Damn it, didn't work. Okay, let's hit him with a Dragon Claw then. Um, yeah, I think because of Cro Contrary and Night Days... Boopy should probably lead the fight, for sure. That's okay, then. I'm just trying to think now about the other Pokemon. I think if, if uh, Haxorus has a bit more levels, it could easily kill... Easily just kill Zekrom. Because I know I can outspeed Zekrom. That's good. Let's do this. Anyways, I shouldn't get too discouraged. This is a Pokedex playthrough. Yeah. Let me see. So we can just work on the Pokedex. We're not losing progress. I'm just a little bit... Mm, he certainly beat the crap out of me, that's for sure. All of his Pokemon have a freaking gem. And he's a single battle, too. If Night Days increases my accuracy, Leaf Storm will become perfect. Anyways, hang on. 331. Okay. 331, 331... There we go. It is thought its body transformed as a result of iron accumulated inside of it. Okay, I hit the, I clicked the thing by mistake. All right, send this thing back. Here we go. Let me see what other thing we can find with the dust clouds. Ice gem. I should be okay to, to tank a hit from Magmordar because I'm part dragon, yeah, but I don't know. There's no right answer. In hacks like this, Pokemon essentially just trade, like, one or two hits, and they're dead. It's okay, though. We're gonna do our best, chat. Do our best to save the teddy bears. If we don't save the teddy bears, who will? The Cleffas? Are you gonna do it, chat? I don't think you are. Come on. If I can get Superior going, it would be ridiculous. I could use Stab Dragon Pulse to get rid of Magmortar if it somehow works. Okay, let's go. Let's go. No Dust Clouds are showing up anymore. Come on. There should be a legendary encounter in this room. I can get it. Catching Steelix is huge because for whatever reason, the Onyx is programmed to only evolve when holding the Metal Coat at nighttime in this game. Which is such a weird additional thing to put on it. Why nighttime? Let's go, go, go. There was a lot of dust clouds and now there's none. That Onyx did serve me well in the Elisa fight though. Come on. Moles. The grass gem? Yeah, that's that's the plan. I already just went over that. We're using a grass gem to start with Boopy. So I can take out, ho or hopefully take out the Zoroark in one hit. Alright. Let's keep looking. Oh, there's a grass gem. If I didn't already have one, there we go. We got it for the plan. As for the other, um, the other, the other items for the rest of the party. At this point, we won't need to worry about having the lucky eggs on him, on anymore. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I still have the bright powder. I could probably put that on like Houndoom or something. <laughs> Maybe just dodge another focus blast from someone else. Come on. There is no dust all of a sudden. Do I need to reset the room maybe? Let's go. You don't need to tell me all the evolution requirements right now. I'm not bothering with that at the moment. You see. Worry about those when we get to them. You see. I think Scizor is. Or you know what? I guess you can just tell me some of them. Some of them. I don't need to know every single one of them right now. 
Because I don't- I'm not gonna be able to do them at the moment this episode. We at least take out Steelix here for this. Like, is, um, Metal Coat, Scyther, and Decisor also require nighttime? Okay, there we go. There's only five of them, really. Oopsie. Metal Coat Scizor has to be during the day. Why? Who decided this? I'm so confused. Weird, what a weird requirement. Get in there. Just because... Like, wouldn't it take extra effort to put that additional thing on there? Why not just make it so that they um, evolve when leveling up while holding it? Instead, they got to tack on a day or night requirement. The most random of those in the official games, by far, is um, Riolu. For some reason, Riolu can only evolve during the day. There we go. Politoed is also at night. Oh. Okay. Come on. There it is. Fire gem. Is Slow King also going to require nighttime? Chat, what happened to the dust clouds? They're all gone. They <laughs> stopped showing up. Hang on, let me get a drink. You're right. Hmm. Slow King is during the day. Okay. And X and Y, Tyrant can only evolve during the day, and Amura is during night. I don't remember that requirement. But alrighty. There's Sand Slash. Is the Legendary a 1% in the dust specifically? I'm assuming it is. The other day and night ones are Clam Pearl. Oh, that one... See, that one makes sense because... I mean... No, wait. It's two different items. It doesn't make sense at all. If, it, if they both use the same item, that would be a way to distinguish which one they evolve into. But... No, they both have unique items for that. <laughs> okay. Never mind, then. What's the point? Repel's effect wore off. Get out of the place. Alrighty. Let's run out. I need to go back to the center and heal. Now, could I do it right now? Could I go for it right now? I'm not convinced I would be able to make it. Okay. Really needs to load in the whole thing each time. And the X and Y hacks, they made it so that uh, the fossils just evolved by sun and moonstones. That means you can get a super early game Tyrantrum, yeah. What is it? What is it? It's like day and night requirement, but is it also based on level? Or is it like Friendship Evo at day or night for those two? I don't remember how the Gen 6 fossils really evolve. Level 39. Oh yeah, that would make it so you could get a really early one, yeah. 39-ish. Okay. Legendary, please. Thank you, SM, for the sub there. I appreciate it. Moles again. I haven't seen Excadrill. Which is fine by me. I'm pretty sure I already have Excadrill. Okay, we'll keep looking. We want to get XP. We want to get XP. It is so important. Let's see. I'm trying to think for a second, trying to think. One more level on Haxorus should be okay, and... There was, like, so much Dust Clouds. What happened to them? Genuinely, what the hell happened to them? There's just none anymore. There we go. Complain about it, and it shows up. Oh, there's Excadrill. I do have it. I cleaned them all up, yeah. Uh, 
Okay, is this worth a lot? Mm, not quite. Oh. Come on, legendary at the entrance. Let's go. No, it's you again. All I had to do was reverse psychology the game a little bit. You see this, Teddy? That's how you get what you want. Maybe I should check every Pokemon in my party after this as well and see who's close to a level. My levels are pretty much on par with N. Like, not really too under or over them. What episode is this? I think this is like part, uh... Uh, I actually don't know. What was the last episode we did of this? 13 is this? I don't know. It's a lot of Pokemon caught for that many episodes. I can only imagine how brutal Gets this is gonna be. N isn't even the final boss and he's the one with the legendary. Okay, yeah, take him out. What? Damn, that didn't kill. Haxorus, get your level, big boy. You earned it. Earned that crap. This is episode 12. Last episode was 11. Okay. Haxorus wants Giga Impact. Nah, you don't need that. Never mind, it is 13. All right, then, it was 13. Okay, that looks good, then. Let's see who's close to leveling. Ursa, Houndoom, and Milotic could definitely use it as well, and this is a good place to tra train Milotic. Everyone's gaslighting streamer. How's it going, everybody? Welcome. We got absolutely bodied by N, so I'm just kind of looking for Pokemon in the dust clouds while also getting a little extra XP. N super bullied me. He used gems on all his Pokemon, and that made me cry. You know what gems are, chat? They're just premium currency. Premium currency. Rich boy just had to use that on me. I have to grind for my currency. He just gets it for free, because he's Fancy Castle Boy. Dang. Come on. Come on. There was a lot of dust clouds there all of a sudden. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course, it doesn't help that everyone still has their lucky eggs. Now, I can't complain, though, because that battle against Caitlyn was wild. That was ridiculous that I pulled that off. Perfect. Any day now. Any day now. I just want to give my low tick one battle. Come on. Against the strong Pokemon, because I already caught all the regular ass mons here. That I'm trying to find the Dust Cloud legendary. Anything down here? No. Come on. Anything here? Alright, I'm just I'm just gonna stick with regular battles in this room, why don't I? Cause I can't they won't appear anymore and it's kinda pissing me off. Job was supposed to be quick and easy. Get the XP, look for the Dust Cloud legendary, but now Dust Clouds aren't real anymore. At least I can one shot, yeah? Mm, one more ought to do it. There we go. Looks like the basic Pokemon are given more XP than the, the Dust Cloud ones anyway, but it's pretty much impossible to find the Legendary without it, though. Well, we can hunt for it another time. Whatever the heck it is. 79. Hmm.
Hound Doom, maybe. I think it might be best to just go back into it now. I'm getting off the bike. I can't take it anymore. The bike input on the D-pad is so weird sometimes. You just cannot hit the damn door. You gotta show the whole thing every time. Alright, let's heal and go back. Let's change items. Rest your Pokemon. Play a game where I can't get off the bike? Well, there's plenty of places that'll kick me off the bike. Like when I go outside. Or sorry, inside. Anyways, let's go ahead and sort the items. I've been dreading doing this, but I should. I got some levels. I caught a few Pokemon, so let's call it... Mm, let's call it happy time. Miracle Seed wouldn't be good enough. I'll need that Grass Gem if I have one. Would it be at the bottom, though? Okay, first there's Black Glasses and Bright Powder, right? Hmm. Who would best benefit from the Bright Powder? I'll just give it to Haxorus. Black Glasses, just put those on Houndoom. Leftovers, just give those to my low ticket friends. I don't know if these will make a huge difference now. Scope Lens, just give that to Ursa. Ursa is unfortunately too slow. It keeps dying to a lot of stuff. The one Grass Gem I have, give that to Boopy. Oh, stretch. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. All right, chat. We're going to go back to it. I was hoping to catch a bit more, but I blew off my steam. My salt is washed away. Washed away, chat. Oh, we still got a lot of people here. I still notice that we have a lot more viewers ever since I started using the VTuber. <laughs> Noticeably, everything has quite a bit more. Even the streams where I don't use it, like, have been doing better, like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's brought in more people, for sure. Okay. Let's see. Isn't there a hack that made one of the games have 100% ice physics? That sounds disgusting. I should do it sometime. Wholesome bear, wholesome tuber. I, I kind of genuinely want to try that. So it makes every normal walkable tile into, um, into like, ice physics. Is that even possible? You'd have to put random boulders to make it possible to exit some places, right? Yo, genuinely, someone hook me up with that. That might be kind of, um, funny. It might have been made specifically for a streamer. Okay. I've done a few of those made for some streamers. I'll save again. They made it movable. Do I have back art? Well, I can't really turn around. I wouldn't be looking at the game, silly. Let's go. Commission more hacks for myself. That'd be funny. Now, I don't really do mystery box streams anymore. The thing about those is that, like, I used up all the good ones and there was just kind of trash left over. Okay, I'll save here again. Because I'm paranoid. Every time I tried to do a mystery box after at some point, it was just kind of just like unfinished garbage that was left. Now I will create the future I desire. I shall sweep you before me. All right, we're going to pretend that we didn't already fight. Take two, everybody. Here he comes. Did I not put, did I not put Boopy up front? I don't think I put Boopy up front. Oops. Oops. Oh, I did. Okay, good. Never mind. Never mind. I'm just getting old. Okay, go for the Leaf Storm. Going for the Dark Gem. Can't yeah, no, outspeed him. That's okay. Let's see if a gra Wow, what happened? What happened, everybody? Oh, did, did my game reset? How did that happen? 
How did that happen, everybody? Oh, I guess I'm just gonna have to go back into it. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame. Oh, it's autumn. All right, take two. <laughs> Everything is fun. Everything is great. Team Plasma N would like to battle. We're gonna start with Zekrom. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I dodged. I dodged. Cool. That's a pretty good outcome. It's enough to kill him. It's enough to kill him. We did it. Oh, boy. Nice. Oregon Z. He has Ice Beam. But I outspeed him, did I not? Screw it, I'm going for it. I'm keeping my boost. If I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go down. Go for it. Yes! 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 Eat crap, Mr. Z. Yes! Yes! I'll show you some ideals, buddy. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, go. send it in. Send it in. I dare you. Send it in. Send it in. You gotta send in the real one. That's how scared he's gotten. Plus four. Plus four, Dragon Pulse, sucker. I waited. I waited freaking 69 levels from when I got this Snivy to be able to do this. Yes. Aerodactyl. Like I'm giving up my- like I'm giving up my power. I'm gonna go for it. And, oh, rock gem head smash? That's terrifying. Snivy was worth it just for that moment, yes. And there I go. Okay, he used up his gem. Hmm, probably best to just use my low tick and scald it now. I took out half the team, including Zekrom. I am happy with that. I can't imagine doing a Nuzlocke in this game. That would be brutal. Oh, jeez. He also has Rock Head, yeah. Does Aerodactyl normally get Head Smash? Okay, let's go. Boopy did good. Now yeah, then. Um, he can go for Thunderbolt. Hmm. If I were to switch, what should I do here? He got his Thunderbolt, and he has a Fire Gem. Hmm. Hmm, do I stay in like this? Do I outspeed him? Or do I just let him use up his thing? Hmm. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. <sighs> My low tick just doesn't have enough health to make it work right now. Let's send in Haxorus to resist everything he does, I suppose. I don't need my... Yeah, I guess I don't need my dragon moves for Zekrom anymore. Because I'll probably one-shot my low tick easy. Outsped. Come on. Oh, I one-shotted him. I didn't think I would, actually. That's good. Slow bro. Um... Probably the best chance to use Ursa Ring's Thunder Punch, I'd say. Let's do it. Let's get him. My last friend, please share your courage. He left it all, all up to Slowbro? <laughs> Punch that bro. Oh. Watch out, everyone. He's got water gem surf. <laughs> I 
the world gonna choose you and not me? Yes. Because you know what just happened, chat? Teddy's won. Ursa's won. Yeah! Teddy's win. Teddy's do a victory laugh. Look at that. Look at that. Everything's ruined. The ideals I held. The dreams. You're a loser. Teddy thinks you're a loser, too. Exciting. Zekrom and I were beaten. Your truth, your feelings, they were stronger than mine, it seems. Reshiram and Zekrom, each of them choosing a different hero. Is that even possible? Two heroes living at the same time, one that pursues truth and one that pursues ideals. Could they both be right? I don't know. It's not by rejecting different ideas, but by accepting different ideas that the world creates a chemical reaction. That is truly the formula for changing the world. Oh, hang on. It's the guy showing up with the dollar store carpet on his, on his shoulders. After all that, do you think you're still worthy of sharing the name Harmonia with me? You good-for-nothing boy. To start with, I spurred N into pursuing ideals. The reason we reawakened the legendary Pokemon now was to give my Team Plasma more power. Power to control the fearless, uh, fearful masses. That, at least, was well done. After saying you had to put your beliefs on the line and battle to see which one chosen by the legendary Pokemon was the true hero, you lost to an ordinary trainer? There is such a thing as being too stupid. Add it up, and you are nothing more than a warped, defective boy who knows nothing about Pokemon. Asprey, I would have never thought the legendary Pokemon would choose a trainer like you. It caught me completely off guard. This doesn't change my goal. My plans have not been disturbed. In order to rule the world utterly, in order to manipulate the hearts of people who know nothing, I will have N be the king of Team Plasma. But for that to work, since you know the truth, you must be eliminated. Oh, will I now? Rule the world? Wasn't Team Plasma's goal to liberate the Pokemon? That was just a convenient lie I needed to create Team Plasma. Use your head. What's to be gained from letting go of useful things like Pokemon? Certainly, manipulating Pokemon helps people expand their possibilities. That much I can agree with. So it naturally follows that only I should be able to use Pokemon. You fool. That's a ridiculous idea. You can say whatever you want. A Pokemon, even if it's rever uh, revered as a deity, is still just a Pokemon. Asprey, so what if it chose you? Chose you. That doesn't mean you're a threat. Come on, now you'll face me in battle. I can't wait to see the look on your face when you've lost all hope. Asprey? I won't allow anyone to stop me, no matter who does what. Well, all right then. Let's see how tough he is. Actually, look at his outfit. Actually, look at his outfit. Like, what the hell is that? Like... <laughs> dollar store carpet is what he's wearing around him. Thank you, Flamestone, uh, Flamestone for the sub. It's such an ugly, hideous-looking robe, too. Okay, he's probably gonna go for, like, Ice Fang. Which means it might be in my best interest to try and switch and burn him. See if I can do it. I can't believe Getsis was a bad guy. Toxic Spikes. Ooh, I switched at the right time, huh? Well then, if you're gonna set up... Well, he's already gonna do this. Too late now. You can do this, Milo Tick. You can do this. He outspeeds me. Immobilized by love. Burn him. If I send out Togekiss or... No, Togekiss can't absorb the spikes, right? It has to be a poison type. A flyer just avoids them. He hasn't hit me. Cross poison. Okay. That... Oh, no, no, no. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Has to be a poison type and not avoid them like Crobat would. Okay. 
Well then, chat. Looks like I might be in trouble. Electros. Now, can I outspeed him? Can I play the long con? Oh, no, it's a girl. Dennis. Dennis. <laughs> Who is Dennis, and why does he have a whole ass theme dedicated to him? I know, like, you can probably say that it's supposed to be Getsis, but it's like, I'm sorry, it does not sound like they're saying that at all. I'm gonna go for it. Dennis! It's Dennis because he's a menace. Oh! Yeah! How do you feel, Missing Thunder Boy? How do you feel? Chat, I... F all right, fine, never mind then. Never mind, use your full restore, you little piece of garbage. If you can afford a full restore, you can afford better clothes. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, next one's gonna get you. Let's see. Dennis didn't sound threatening enough, so he has to say gets us. See, this theme represents the haunting childhood memories he has. When he was a kid, everyone made fun of him because his name was Dennis. Oh, it didn't kill. Damn. Damn, I was close to pulling off something stupid there. So it's just like, yeah, this theme represents like all the kids in his school that are like, Hey, it's Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Anyways, my low ticks down, I'm afraid. <sighs> Toxic spikes are only a matter of time, it seems. Let's go for it. He's got Dusk Noir. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. I'm gonna go for this and send in Houndoom, maybe. Hey, back. Hmm. Wait, if he's gonna go to sleep and he only has payback, maybe I could get away with trying to boost. One last chance, chat. One last chance to be scum. Dennis. Let's do it. All right. He's going to sleep. While he sleeps, I'm gonna do this and hope for my boost. First body. Well then, never mind. So much for that plan. I'll just hit him with psychics. I don't want to switch. Because he can't really do much damage to Togekiss because I'm normal type here. Normal type chat, we can do it. He got a citrus berry, okay. I don't want to take the risk switching in Houndoom because I'm just going to get taught. I'm going to get badly poisoned. Okay, I woke up. Let's see. Oh, that was a crit. Of course it was. All right. Am I still disabled? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go for it. Too slow to yawn him again. How about a crit? Mmm. Okay, he burned me. This is fine. Let's do it. No longer disabled. What do you say, chat? One more time for old, old, old time's sake? Come on, 20%. 20% my ass. That's what this game has given me. No, no boost. All right. Okay. Huh? Hey, excuse, excuse me? What? Why do you have that? Huh? Well, this was... I was not prepared for this one. Uh... Burn him. Okay, then. So, new plan. Chat, I have a... I, I know Genesect is made by Team Plasma, but I wasn't expecting him to have it. I have a quick question. Is Genesect a fast or slow Pokemon? Because my Houndoom is going to give him a very nasty surprise if it is. <laughs> um, or isn't fast. Uh, it's very fast. Oh, no. He doesn't have, would he have a super effective move for Houndoom then? Hmm. 
Okay, 99 base speed. Houndoom should outspeed it. Depending on EVs. I'm gonna go for Houndoom. I need to do it. I'm I'm scared. He's got the he's got the five nights at Freddy's bug. At least his download is canceled now. Let's go. Bug Buzz, come on! Come on! Live damn you live! Live damn you live. You can do this. Special defense fell. Yes, 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 yes! No! 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 You have a focus sash. You fat you sashed Genesec, you disgusting human being. Alright then. Don't have a priority move. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, he might have Focus Blast to hit Ursa. I don't know if it's... It might be too early to send out Ursa Ring. Or sorry, Haxorus. I need to just hit him once. That's what Ursa needs to do. Come on. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. Okay, he's going Bug Buzz. No, no Focus Blast. On. Thunder Punch. He's down. He's down. Okay, we beat the big boy. Hi, Dragon. Okay, send it out. He's gonna kill me. Is he gonna be gemmed? Let's find out. He's going Fire Blast. Now, chat, I have a very important question. Who's faster, Hydragon or Haxorus? I don't know. Who's faster, the giant axe or the one with the two Muppets for hands? Oh. Both my remaining Pokemon are dragons. Haxorus is absolutely okay. Do. Let's do it. Badly poisoned. The, um, I should just go for the outrage. Do it. Come on! Come on, come on, come on. Yes! One left. Mine's faster, clearly. I Dragon is like one point ba yeah, one base speed faster. His last one is Gyarados. It might be better to switch right now because I'm badly poisoned, right? And he's gonna intimidate me and I'm locked into Outrage. He might have Hurricane, but whatever. Come on, we're gonna win. I'm badly poisoned, but I don't care. Do I wanna go for the seed or I should just go for the leaves to be honest. I need to ha I need to damage him so Haxorus can finish it off. He avoided it! No! No, he's dancing! Oh no! 90% accuracy, why you do this to me? Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Good, cool, cool. Please crit. Please crit. No dancing allowed. He's still dan- he's at plus three, baby. Come on, please, this needs to hit and I can win if this hits. Yes, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, we win, we win. Teddy's win, everybody. If he had Ice Fang, he didn't seem like using it. My calculations, no, my careful schemes, the world should be mine. You lose, you lose, buddy. He got so greedy. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I'm absolutely perfect. I'm perfection. I'm the perfect ruler of the perfect new world. Now, N, do you still think Pokemon and people should be separated? Mwahaha. Since I couldn't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. N. He's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think you're going to get through to a warp person like that? Alder, it's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He's the one without a human heart. You're right, he's truly pitiful. 
And I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you're not pursuing ideals because of Getsus' manipulation, but because your heart was really inspired. That is why you're able to meet the legendary Pokemon. But I have no right to be the hero. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important, wouldn't you say? Yes, you'll enjoy it for a few years before you give it to a random kid. Acting like you understand. Up until now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. Yet despite that, why? And even if we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. And they're just going to take him away because they have the authority there. All right. Oh, boy. I want to talk to you about something. Do you now? Our hats are booping. There's no more water left in this area, chat. He completely ruined it. Look at it. Look at, look at the little steel foundation down there. It doesn't even look like a real castle anymore. It's when I. It's about when I first met you in Accumula Town. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon was saying. I was shocked because the Pokemon said it liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. Yeah, man, I have that effect on most teddies. Destroying the environment. Oh, the carpet is all scuffed absolutely now. But what now? I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people. Because up until that moment, I've never known a Pokemon like that. Do you now? The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. And luckily for me, I won that right away. There's no way a person like me, someone who un understands only Pokemon... No, actually, I didn't understand them either. No way I could measure up to you, when you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. Oh, fun. The champion has forgiven me. I don't know if he explicitly said that, but sure, we can pretend that happened. And what I should do now is something I have to decide for myself. He's gonna fly. Does he have the HM, though? Asprey? Yeah? You said you have a dream. That dream. Make it come true. Well, I'm a VTuber now, so it kind of has. Make your wonderful dream a reality, and it will become your truth. If anyone can, it's you. Well then. Farewell. He's flying off, everybody. Oh, hang on. I think the credits theme causes issues, so I'm just going to mute it to be safe. Art director, all these people... If that's the case, hang on, I should also just speed it up right quick. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Epic credits, everybody. SoundCloud rappers. Oh, yeah, they're my favorite people lately. That's the end of the main story, but we're only just over half done the Pokedex. Configuration. Look at that Zekrom in the background, everybody. Bo -bo -bo. Just playing it safe. I don't know for sure if I can reset. People have, have been confidently told me that before and have been wrong. Hang on. Put the frame rate back. There we go. Turn the music back on. There we go. There he goes. Flying off. Um, The hack that makes everything ice physics is called Pokemon Emerald Slide. Ooh, that sounds funny. I should give that a check. Is it Was it made for a specific YouTuber? Because that sounds like it'd be funny for a one-off stream or something. Or maybe I could do, like, a speedrun of it, like I do for, um... Uh, like, like, I've beaten Gen 3 games in, like, two streams. Usually I can do Gen 1 in, in one sitting. I did a playthrough of just using Teddy Ursa in Gen 2 as a one-off, and it was, like, five hours. <laughs> By the end, I had an Ursa ring that could just curb stomp everything. Nope. Okay. And now we're headed back. Autumn. I'm home, chat! Turn the audio back up a little more, too. Um. Welcome home, Asprey. 
Seems like you've been through many amazing things, is that not so? Incredible, really. Absolutely amazing meeting these two legendary Pokemon. Aha, this is... Oh, I still wear my disguise, pardon. Or rather, let me introduce myself. What do you give me since I get the fishing rod already? I'm a globe-trotting elite of the International Police. My name... No, I shall inform you of my code name only. My code name is Looker. It is how I am called. Behind the scenes in this region of Unova, an organization called Team Plasma conspires. This I have heard, and therefore to this region I must come. But, thanks to the gym leaders and to you, Team Plasma's castle has fallen. And the members, they have gone upon their separate ways. This is what I hear, most certainly. But however, however, yes, the ones known as the Seven Sages, still, they hide themselves in the Unova region. And so, in the end, it explains why I must ask this of you, trainer of amazing skill. Travel across Unova and search it up, and search it down for the Seven Sages. Alder, the champion of renown, recommended you to my notice. Are you willing to help? Yeah, sure. Excellent, I thank you. Now I feel as if I have perhaps a million people on my side. Permit me to give this to your hands. Oh, Grisidia flower. That's a Grisidia, right? Yes, correct. It certainly is a Grisidia. Weren't we talking about Team Plasma's Seven Sages? What does that have to do with people uh, looking for those people? I see. It is truly Asprey's mama to ask so. What a magnificent question. I admire it. It is my pleasure to answer. Absolutely nothing. This line of text is still the same in the OG, but instead, he, this is where you get the fishing rod. But they give you the fishing rod early in this game, so they just give you the Grisidia flower. I see. Yes, I shall provide the explanation of this, the Grisidia. First, it's a lovely flower. For the rest, I depend on you. Thanks. People from the International Police are kind of, uh, unique, aren't they? Well, no worries. I think you should just do what you want to. You're practically a grown-up now. Nice. Hey, Asprey. Is Looker through talking to you? I'm sorry. By the time I went to get the Striaton City gym leaders, everything was over. Couldn't do it. If that's the case, I let Getsus escape when the Shadow Triad created an opening. Getsus? The Shadow Triad? I'll tell you, I'll tell you later about what happened in the castle. It's more important to ask what you plan to do now, Bianca. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go to Black City. That's the city on the other side of Route 16 when you leave from Nimbasa City. Hmm. If you go that way, you might be able to meet all sorts of Pokemon you've never seen before. Oh boy, this is like the last long cutscene we gotta deal with, right? Oh, well, this is nice timing. I see you're all here. Just a moment ago, I got some National Pokedex data from an acquaintance. Since you're here, let's upgrade your decks with the National Dex data. I'm sure you'll be visiting a wider range of places. Naturally, that means you'll be encountering more Pokemon. Let me see your decks for a second. There you go, Bianca. Next up is Jaren. And last but not least. Finally, let's see if the counter's right. You can now switch your Pokedexes to the National Dex mode. Completing the National Pokedex will surely be a big challenge. It's what we're here to do, though. So take your time, enjoy yourselves, and meet lots of Pokemon. Wow, the National Pokedex. Looks like there's tons of Pokemon I don't know yet. Ooh, I want to show Mom and Dad my Pokedex. I gotta go. Let's meet again somewhere, okay? Huh, Bianca's as impetuous as ever, no matter what's going on. I think I'll travel all around Unova, starting at Route 1 again. I'm sure I'll discover lots of new things. Could be I'll encounter the Seven Sages along the way. And Asprey, if we spy each other along the way, let's battle again. Alright. Let's check the decks after I make a save. I don't want to sit through those cutscenes again. Holy smokes, chat, we did it! The main story is done. The hardest battles are done. Let's take a look here. 
Oh, not that's not the Pokedex. Open it. Obtained. It still says... Oh, it's Unova. Hang on. Wait. Oh. I'm one off. I actually have 332. Pretty close count. Let me see. Plus one for me. Perfect. No, I'm pretty sure I added Reshiram when I caught it. I'm very sure I did that. All right. Now we got this. And now that we've done all that, maybe I'll just bump into something right here I need. So at this point now, chat... Oh, I don't have Sentrip. <laughs> well, perfect. Let's catch it. At this point now, we have to add lots of Pokedex entries. We don't have... We'll probably rematch the Elite Four and actually beat Alder at some point, but for now, we can focus on fixing up the decks perfectly. Sentrance data was added. It has a very nervous nature. It stands up high on its tail so it can scan wide areas. 333. 333. Those were some tough endgame battles for sure. I can't imagine doing a Nuzlocke. This game is brutal without it. Let's do it. We have over half now, yeah. We can catch forever. The next time I stream this, we're going to make a ton of progress for sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm most impressed with the Caitlyn battle, to be honest. I don't know how that worked out so well for me. Beaver! I already got that. It's Autumn. Do we immediately hunt the legendaries? Hmm. I still have to activate Thunderous and Land... Or not Landorus. Uh, Thunderous and Tornadus. I assume both appear at once. Why not just run through Route 1 again? Oh, hang on. You know what I should do, actually? I should get a, a Fly and a Surf user. We don't need to lug around six po battle-ready Pokemon anymore. Um... We need a good Pokemon for capturing. What is this? Congratulations, more wallpapers were added. Uh, okay. Main story finale went pretty smooth, yeah. Let's see. Jolly Pokemon there. Right, I had these things with the XP share. We should put them in the party. Um, first, hang on. Pelipper is my fly and surf user, so we'll just take you out. But before that, you know what we should do? Let's put... I should keep you for Yawn, and I should put False Swipe back on you. Hmm. I think we can give you a break for sure. Do that. Oh, Teddy and Friends did so well. Don't really need Boopy right now. Yeah, maybe just take Togekiss and you... And take you for Surf and Fly. Yeah, let's take you. Easy way to get my ourselves what we need by fighting high-level Pokemon later. They worked hard. They're taking a nice, cozy rest. Might take a little bit, but we can do it. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do. My water's almost empty. Oh, now my water is empty. All right. Oh, I enjoy Gen 5 a lot. I've mostly played a lot more of it through uh, streaming. It does get a little cuts, a little too cutscene heavy at times, but it's fine. So we have these entire areas to check out. Hmm. We could start with checking over here. There's bound to be things to catch. I don't really need Outrage anymore, right? Outrage is just unpredictable and not good for catching, so we can just put False Swipe on. Okay, False Swipe, False Swipe. Because we need to catch chat. False Swipe, False Swipe, False Swipe. Where is it? 
losing my mind. I don't see it. I hope I didn't pass it. Did I pass it? Chat. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Did I pass false swipe? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's TM and I have it, right? Uh, solar beam telekinesis hidden power bulk up roar calm mine. Um, where where is it? I'm almost I'm like ten thousand percent positive I have the false swipe TM. Do I not? Well, I guess I don't. I was very very positive I did. Yeah, you have to relearn it, I guess. I don't have any heart scales, though. For now, let's head over here and see what we can find. Let's also put Haxorus up front, why don't we? Quick Balls are going to be our best friends here. Beating up some wild Pokemon will also help. Let's see if we can get a few more Pokemon before I call today, though. Get in there. And now we have this big fancy bridge. Miss, do I have a deal for you and you alone? Here's your chance. I'll sell you a secret Pokemon Magikarp for an unbelievable 500. Uh... No. Do I, do I have Magikarp? I don't remember if I caught Magikarp. Uh... Uh, it's gonna take too damn long to go all the way down there. Let me see. How about I just search the name? Oh, Pokedex, you're so clunky. Wait, no. Oh, I'm not spelling it. I'm only searching the first letter. Oh, fine. Just do it. Pokemon found. What do we got? Oh, I don't have Magikarp. I may as well buy it then. Oh. Chat, I'm actually... It's actually kind of hot in here today. It's really humid outside. Sure. I have no... I have to have room in my party for it? Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Just send it to the PC. You, huh? Getsus is gone. He went off somewhere alone after we rescued him from the castle. On the day Getz has saved our lives, we've sworn to be loyal to him. Even now, after he ordered us not to search for him. Also, Getz is said to give you this. Adamant Orb. As well as this. Illustrious Orb. Illustrious Orb. And also this. Briseus Orb. This is in vanilla, right? Like, this isn't that's something the hack added. This scene, I mean. Getsis, where did he find those? What was he planning to do with them? Why did he give them to you? There's no way to know. Is he testing you or using you? We, the Shadow Triad, have always been with and will always be the loyal servants of Getsis. And Getsis' ambitions will never cease. We shall never meet again. Farewell. Alright. Looks like... Hang on a second. Can I have encounters on this bridge? I can. Is it, there must be... Maybe they made a legendary here. Crap. Ah, magnificent scenery. Hang on, let's have a look. Let's have a look. I don't hear it. I'm looking for the shadow. Oh, there it is. Now, remember when we speculated that the other bridge could have legendary birds or something sweeping down? Uh-oh. Now, what if that happens here? There was actually a wide variety of Pokemon there, to be honest, so it's kind of worth it. I couldn't find Ducklet, though, which is hilarious, because that's what I was looking for. Too far over here. Thought I saw it. All right, now that we're done the main story, it's all about Pokemon hunting now, chat. It's all about hunting the Pokemans. Spiro. Don't have that, but I did catch Spiro, so this is okay. Okay. 
Nothing but nice and cozy dex progress. We didn't really get a chance to catch many Pokemon between uh, all the story stuff today. Mostly just Victory Road. Ah, damn. Okay. Drill Run. Well then. Unshrimp. Now I gotta send in Togekiss. Ah, uh, yes. I'm not really- I don't really care much about fighting Cynthia, especially since I have to mute her battle music. Alright, let's do this. Use a Psychic here. Come on, that can't- alright, good. Oh, he does that. <laughs> the jerk. Come on. Let's do it. They've been doing- they've been claiming Cynthia's theme for years. Thank you, SoundCloud rappers. They may not be able to make good music, but they sure as hell like to, uh, like to be leeches on YouTube. Ba -ba -bum. Hit him with that Psycho Blast. All right, it's about to go to sleep. We can do this. Hmm. All right, now the ultra. This is the perfect setting, so let's do it. Get ready to catch it. We're not getting to 400 today, but the next time I play this for sure, we will absolutely be making absurd amounts of, of progress on this. That'll be awesome. 334. Pokedex runs are very satisfying to do over time. Has the stamina to fly all day on its broad wings. It fights poison its sharp beak. But, um, hang on. No. Let's do it. Let's see. We can make such huge amounts of progress, but we gotta... Huh. Let me start over. I lost my train of thought while I was, like, thinking. Um, oh, there we go. Pretty wing. Pretty wing. 350 would be nice if I can grab that. <laughs> yeah, let's keep looking. I want to see what's on the bridge before anything else. Okay. Yeah, what was I saying? Pokedex playthroughs are fun, but they're definitely the type of thing you need to take a little break from sometime. Doing three streams of uh, Recharged Yellow ironically uh, recharged me a bit to want to get back to this. Okay. It's nice to have, like, a difficult game and a more of a relaxed, easier game on the side as well for Pokemon. In the case of this game, though, like, because I was doing a dex run... There it is. Ah. The idea was that I could take my time and work on the dex when I'm stuck, but we were so close to the end that I wanted to just, like, take a break and push through Victory Road in the Elite Four. And it worked out pretty well. No more encounters, holy crap. Okay, but we will be playing lots of fun stuff this week for sure. Come on, where's Pokemon? I'm finding their wings. Or feathers. In Japanese versions of everything, they always call them feathers, but they always call them wings in the English version. Probably because in the Gen 2 text, w uh, the word wing fit better than uh, feather. Because they were limited on space. That's why they're called the Rainbow Wing and, or, uh, and Silver Wing. And not just like the fe feathers like they actually are. I would like to fight something. <laughs> Did they change the name to feathers in Gen 9? I didn't know that actually. That's cool. I hear it. I hear it. You can't hide from me. Let's look around. Don't see it. There it is. Can't really tell by the sound how far away it is. Chat, I have picked up so many wings. I want a Pokemon. There we go. Finally. Ah, it was Pelipper after all that.
still, that's fine. We can take it out for XP for the boys in the back there. I really appreciate the fact that I get to play, like, a whole bunch of random things and chat gets to enjoy it so much. Let me see. A lot of people watch, oh, it just kind of put me on in the background and I ramp while I ramble on about random things. That's probably another reason a lot of people don't care or are indifferent to the VTuber. Like, they're not intently watching the screen half the time, so they don't care if, they if I want to put anime there. Which is fine. You see. Although, for the most part, it seems like the majority of chat seems to love it. If all the fan art I've been getting has been any indication. Oh. There we go. Skip Loom. Yeah, alright. Sure. I think I caught Hop Up at the start of the game. You see, I wanted, I've been uh, wanting to start a Yu-Gi-Oh! DS game soon, so I have an excuse to use the empty space for the PNG tuber as well. But one of the sub goals we have planned is a replay of Reshef of Destruction. I was going to use the PNG tuber for that as well, because we haven't played that game in like five and six years, and PNG tuber is a good excuse for it. All right, hang on. I got to update the counter. 335... Before, I know I could move on, but I want to just, like, encounter a couple things here and see what I can get. It blooms when the weather warms. It floats in the sky to soak up sunlight. Much sunlight as possible. Three chef with the PNG tuber would go hard, I know. Well, that's a lot of the goals I put on the list are replays of games people have been wanting me to go back to for years. But I'm going to use them at the PNG tuber. Because the point of the sub-goals is to help me save up for a 3D model. But that's... Even if I have the money for that, right? That's, um... That's still quite, like... They, those take a long time to make when you commission them. Not to mention, most of the experts that, like, rig and make that stuff... Are not even, like, animated, I should say. Um... Like, they have long waiting lists, too. Like, that's a thing I've just accepted is gonna take a while. Luckily, I was able to get, like, uh, the design and this this commission made relatively quickly. But obviously, it's a lot less animated than uh, what you normally see. Okay, that's fine. I'm happy with it, though. I like it. I could put a dual disc on me. <laughs> it might take a bit. I don't know. That's all right, yeah. I mean, the artist who made my PNG tuber, we had was able to get connections, right? Like, they're friends with my mods, and they're also teaching my brother how to draw. So, and they just opened up their commissions, and they're like, all right, sure, yeah, I could work with you. Meanwhile, when I was trying to search, like, uh, Twitter and stuff for artists, right? That place is so overrun with scams now. There are so many, like, bots and fakes, like, fake accounts that just, like, they steal a bunch of art, and they just kind of, like, uh, mess mass message people trying to, like, um... Uh, basically take your money for a commission and then just delete the account. It's gotten so bad over there. Teddy and Bio. Yes. Will a 3D version keep the bear? Well, 3D versions have to have little accessories animated with it to go with... Yeah, animated with it and all that. You know what I mean? That stuff's a lot fancier, but to be honest, figuring this... Uh, figuring out the PNG tuber took a lot less effort than I thought. There we go. I think the most effort was just spent making the... Uh, going over design revisions. You know, originally, chat, I was going to have a red shirt to, ma to match my red eyes, but... I, I think I much prefer the monochrome look and the little tie. I'm glad Ferdy suggested that. Hang on. Give up on foresight. I'm distracted. The red eyes is just enough... Uh, just, just enough extra color now. With the yellow and blue... Excellent. All right, we've looked there enough. Skip Bloom was a good find. Pharaoh was a good find. What do people buy from the vending machine? To keep checking on that. That is my life. Okay. I decided to find a new Pokemon partner around Route 13. Hey, you. Do you want to try a triple battle? Nah. You're a trainer, yet you're not prepared to battle? Yeah, I'm training right now. Holy moly. Now then, this guy wants to fight. Let's get some XP. I will unveil my Pokemon to you. They're the best in the world. You know, maybe having only Haxorus and uh, 
Togekiss isn't the best idea with- Oh, no, he's going to- he's going to murder me. He is going to murder me, chat. 88?! Uh-oh. Chat. I may have wandered into the wrong part of town. May have wandered into the wrong place. Okay. Moody. Okay, chat, I, uh... It was nice knowing all of you. I'm about to die. I wasn't prepared, chat. Okay, let's get as much XP as we can. Okay. No, they don't need to learn anything. Pokemon Dark Souls. I got a Dragon Dance on. Let's hope it carries me. Tauros, it's gonna intimidate. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. My exasperated 88. I know. Oh, nope. Oh, it doesn't have that. Okay. Still, I can't afford to get locked into Outrage. I'm gonna go the Claw. What? Wait, am I still holding my... What item am I holding right now? Bright Powder, I think? Mega Horn. Damn. Here comes a Hyper Potion. Okay, here we go. Was I very loud when I was surprised by that? I wasn't expecting level 88 Pokemon, I gotta say. Why were any of these trainers trying to save the world, huh? Why were they here? I'm getting laughed at, chat. You know who's laughing at me? Teddy. Teddy's having a little hoot. Watching me suffer. This is chat right now. Little bear is just laughing at my misery. Marsh Tom for level 24. Roll out? No. At least I'm getting XP doing this. Apparently I can't go wandering around with uh, my current stuff though. I gotta keep going in. There we go. I should be safe. You don't have defense or HP, and I'm at plus one. I don't care if you're level 88. I win. It seems like I... Yeah, I should maybe go somewhere else. Maybe go somewhere else. I can at least poke my head in the grass if I beat this guy. But I might need my battle team for a while. Maybe at least carry four of my battle team at a time. I feel like I could probably just give up on training Ursa Ring, though. Ursa Ring is just too slow to really do much anymore. Floatzel. Send it in. Okay. You're gonna go for an ice move. I don't have a choice. I'll have to outrage now. Okay, nice. Keep going. Probably see how high the levels go if I go from Opelousa and said In Infernape. Infernape. Okay. This dude even got a starter. He had a whole ass story team ready. Okay, we're doing it. I was shocked by how jump levels were. I think Getsis was like level 75. His Genesect was, anyway. Okay. At least we're getting this. The experience was very much needed, so this is okay. This is okay. Luxray. I really hope I'm not going to be confused. I'm going to go for it. Intimidate. This is the last one. Last Outrage, and I'm at neutral attack power now. Oh, I actually won. Maybe I should put the Lucky Eggs back on my team. Now 
Excellent. Your Pokemon are cute, but my Pokemon are charming. He's called Pearl because he has a bunch of Gen... He has a Gen 4 Pearl team. Alright. That went okay. Now let's go back over here. Oh, all these wings take up space. Use a Hyper Potion. Should get these starters leveled up, though. And Tauros and Doug Trio, though. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, let Let me put the lucky egg back on my Mons. Yeah. Because clearly they're gonna freaking need it when they're battling. Perfect. Yeah, we're gonna stay far away from that ranger now. Oh? I think I caught Larvitar an eternity ago. If I catch this, we just gotta level it up once. May as well save the lucky egg for things like this. Damn. Going crunch. And it's lowering my stuff. Busting my chops here, chat. Busting my chops. Dang, we've been going almost four hours. I lost track of time after the... Oh, damn it, I killed it. That's okay. I get a little bit by fighting here, too, anyway. There's another one. Another chance for a quick ball. I've got 40 quick balls, and we can easily get more. Oh, come on, crit capture. Perfect, okay, 336, 336. Excellent, that's nice. Its body is as hard as bedrock. By venting pressurized gas, it can launch itself like a rocket. Wait, what? Wait, 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 Pupitar can do that? Since when? <laughs> can launch itself like a little rocket chat. Oh, sock. Do I have sock? I do. It's okay. Mold breaker. I may as well take it out for the XP then. I want to see what shows up in this. Bert and Ernie. That Elite Four was pretty intense. Houndoom and Milotic were the star of the show there, for sure. There's got to be more than Pupitar here. I should be able to check out that champion cave as well. Oh! I caught this already. Uh, by surfing on Route 1, I think you can get to it. Yeah. Interesting variety of Pokemon here, that's for sure. Oh! Oh, that's bad. That's super bad. That's really, really bad. And it was a crit, too. <laughs> it's sucker punching me. Yeah, I have the national decks. I may be confused. Nice. Everyone needs about six more levels, though, still. Let me please heal my cool dragon guy, though, before we move on. Can always fly out of here when I need to, at least. Fix my posture, sure thing. I am a smart, healthy teddy. Being nice and sitting good. I'll wrap it up in a little bit here. I started a little bit late. That's fine. It's raining out, and it's hot inside. Holy crap. Tomorrow will be another comfy stream, going a little bit longer. Plan is to start with some more Tag Force 2, and then another Mario Party game. I'm not sure which game I'm gonna... which board I'm gonna pick, but I know we're gonna play Mario Party 3. Maybe later in the week we could set up Mario Party 4? I don't know. Or maybe do another game on the N64 ones. Because all of those are on Switch Online, so it's easy to set them up. Graveler. Don't have that. 
he can explode, so football here. Let's do it. I've got access to a lot of stuff. I'd say I can easily hit 340 today, yeah. We're at 337. 337. No more story to worry about, so next time we will be making lots of progress. It rolls on mountain paths to move. Once it builds momentum, no Pokemon can stop it without difficulty. Especially not Siphasismon. Siphasismon. I can't talk. Nope. There's still gotta be more things we haven't seen yet here. Come on. You like the new emotes? They're very wholesome. I like them a lot, too. Pop Pupitar there. I could just take Pupitar out of the PC and give it a, give it the one rare candy I have. That would be helpful. This would be a good place to have trained my Lotic. Just scald everything. Oh! Oh, I already have that. Got excited for a second. Hit it with a claw. Easy, and Endeavor. Seeing a good variety of Mons here. I want to head to the Opelucid side and see what I can get there. So many Mons we've gotten, that's right. They kind of blur together. We'll swap the party around after we get these three done. For now, I'm going to keep slowly grinding the three of them like this. Let's do this. for a little fly. Now let me heal. Let's do it. There's gonna be a lot of streaming this week, but I'll make sure I do some short stream days as well. Quite a few games I want to play. Perfect. Thank you for waiting. Restored your Pokemon to full health. Might focus more on uh, Recharge Yellow again for a couple streams, though. I, want, I just wanted to get back to this to make get the big uh, story push done. It'll be stupid if I just sit here and force myself to catch 300 more Pokemon. Okay, ignore you. Before I can play anything new. Another Marowak. Level 58. Damn. I also think I want to try and get around to playing Falsebound Kingdom. Because, like, we're going to be advertising a Yu-Gi-Oh! sub-goal anyway. So it's probably about time I did that Yu-Gi playthrough with the Kaiba monsters. I've been promising that for, like, a year now. Marowak and Gloom have a similar cry. I haven't realized that, but I think you're right. Now, are these going to be the same Pokemon? I hope not. Got a duck. I do not have duck. Do I have Psyduck? Hydrate? Don't mind if I do. My water's just about empty, though. Need to overpower my Haxorus here. Pretend my model took a drink. Don't worry. Animation costs money, chat. Takedown. Perfect. Give up on takedown. You don't need that. Since we're going to be doing um, the goals for two months, we can definitely get started on some of the earlier goals almost as soon as they get met. Doing Banjo-Kazooie 100% should be something I can easily start on soon. Because it's on Switch Online, I easily can capture and set that up. And we're going to take our time with that playthrough. Hang on. I didn't throw a quick ball at it. Why didn't I do that? I just went for the kill. My brain was on autopilot there. We will take our time, no matter how long Banjo-Kazooie takes me. And it will be comfy, and everyone will sit there and be nice. Hang on. What am I at? 338. 338. Nice. It's been swimming dyna- and is seen swimming dynamically and elegantly using its well-developed limbs and flippers. They don't have Banjo-Tooie on there? Oh, huh, okay. I'd play that when they get it added, too. Her Ugly? 
Well, that's interesting. All right, let's get it. Okay. We're gonna throw this at it. Lucky with the crit captures lately. I think, have I caught Glamio? I don't know. It's gonna do this. No, 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 no. Hit it with the claw. Oh, I thought I was gonna kill it there with that. Holy moly. Plenty of games I am looking forward to playing, chat. I've started a lot lately, but it's just been so much fun. It just gets too, like, uh, boring if you lock yourself down to only one or two things at a time. Okay, 339. Near the bottom here, 339. Perfect. And its data was added. It binds its body with its tails to make itself look larger. If it locks eyes, it will glare ceaselessly. Well, that's pretty rude. It's also stupid fast. I want to see what else is in this magic grass right here. Oh, I guess it makes sense you're here. Don't remember if we found Stunky. I want to say that was on an early part of the game. If the game's got free claims right here, going in with a bunch of quick balls is the best option. I gotta avoid that camper, because he's probably got, like, six Pokemon on his team. And they're all, like, level, almost, like, level 90. We made it to 340. I'm impressed. Yay. It attacks by spraying a horribly smelly fluid from the tip of its tail. Attacks from above confound it. Well then. Let's see what else is here before I move on to a different area, because I'm not ready to fight the trainers. Definitely seems like I need to keep my levels up. Oh, we haven't found you yet. I don't know if I've seen Ponyard. Come to think of it, though, what other trainers are there even... Can I even fight? I might be better off hunting the legendaries or something for a little bit to get wild levels. But that would restrict me to uh, Victory Road, wouldn't it? Either way, this is good progress. It's too bad I don't get XP for catching in this game. Damn. Okay, it's going Iron Defense. Let's do this then. They don't want me to be too strong, I guess. I knew the levels would probably be high, but I didn't think they'd be that freaking high, yeah. Pokedex is slow, is so slow to check. I don't know if I have the Prevo forms, but I'm gonna go for this anyway. Okay, catch him with an Ultra. Don't even, I didn't really need False Swipe here, let's be real. Come on. Nice. At least my catching luck has been okay. 341. Hmm. It leads a group upon yard. If battles to become the boss, it will be driven from the group if it loses. Well, that's how the King Gambit is decided. Now we know that. But only in Paldia for some reason. Remember, only in Spain can uh, Bisharp become a, an old Japanese warlord. Only in Spain, nowhere else. <laughs> um, makes perfect sense to me. Don't know what you're talking about. The entry link. Oh yeah, that's where that is. <sighs> is there anywhere else I want to check? Could look for the unique encounters near the Dragon Spiral Tower since I got my surfer. Could also check the surfing areas in Victory Road, maybe. It's not a big deal, though. Raining. Spain and part of Japan. Oh, yeah, Kitakami. Quite a big plane ride there. Thank you for waiting. Pokemon restored to full health. Alright. 
what I want to do is I want to go up over here. And I want to see... The shaking grass or the water bubbles here. So let me go ahead and use Repel. This is also great music. I think there was legendaries to still find inside the tower, but they're 1% encounters, right? There they are. Hang on. I'm gonna go ahead and put these at the goddamn top, because we know I'm gonna need them a ton. More than anything else in this whole playthrough now. No, 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 no. There you go. Okay. Looking for bubbles. Looking for bubbles. Because, like, every area kind of has, like, a bit of a unique, like, uh... There we go. Considering this is Dragon Spiral, I wonder if there could be a Legendary here, too. Oh! That also works. Wouldn't be shocking if Zekrom was just up there. Yeah, it probably is. Because I have to be able to catch it in-game. Throw the Quick Ball. Makes sense being Dragon Spiral here, yeah. Okay, perfect. 342. I don't know, think I've beaten both the trainers nearby here, too, so I could just fight them for a little XP. It's so satisfying to fill up the decks. If its body takes on an aura, the weather changes instantly and is said to live in seas and lakes. Is it, isn't it different if you fish in the bubbles? Is that a thing you can do? I actually don't know. Can you really do that? Fish in the bubbles for a different encounter? Yeah? Oh, damn, I didn't know that. Hang on, let me try that. Let me just see if we can get another one to show up. Come on. There's Seedra. I should have a dragon scale somewhere. Probably be fine to do that. Does it change what Pokemon appears, or is it like use a different encounter table? I don't actually don't don't know. This is the first time I'm learning about this, genuinely. It's probably because fishing is post-game in Gen 5, so of course I wouldn't know. Nice. Okay. I think I caught Horsey in Driftvale, the city I can't go near anymore because copyright city. 343. Its spines provide protection, its fins and bones are prized as traditional medicine ingredients. Until it evolved, and then it became prized as a gym leader Pokemon. Interesting. I really didn't know this was a thing, that's cool. I learned something new about the every game whenever I play it again. It's wild. Oh, well, I walked right into that one. Well, still got that, though. They're really high level, though, so it's still definitely worth it to take them out for the XP they give if they're repeats. This is definitely, like, the hardest, gonna be the hardest dex playthrough I've done so far. The, by far the most amount of Pokemon. I got poisoned, but we can fix that. We can fix that, chat. Do I have full heals? I have six of them. Fishing here in the rain with this music is great. Fishing in the in the bubbles is how you can find wild Milotic and white too. Oh, really? Yeah, I, I genuinely didn't know this was a thing. Show of hands, who is learning this for the first time? Gotta get going now, Lilac. All right, catch you later. Hope you have fun. I know I'm gonna go in a little bit later at an unusual time. This is about to pass the four hour mark, but that's okay. Um, I've been a little bit behind on uploads recently. Many of you know this, but um, I've, I've been doing multiple streams of Mother 3, and the first VOD kept getting claimed so many times that like it kept interrupting my upload schedule. So I've been recording some extra stuff so that uh, that won't affect it anymore if it keeps happening. Yeah. So a nice little long episode of Pokedex progress is pretty nice. 
Let's see. I guess I did do a Dex playthrough of Violet, but that didn't have 649 Pokemon in it. Or, uh, Scarlet, yeah. Oh, hang on. And let's do this. Come on. You don't really fish in... You can't fish in Scarlet and Violet. You just swim in the water to find stuff. This will be an easy kill right here. I finally did get the first VOD of, um, Mother 3 uploaded, yeah. Let me see. Fool's Gold had, um, 422 Pokemon when I was doing it. Yeah, Fool's Gold ha is the, the most amount of Pokemon until this one. No legendaries, no, no blue. I've been looking, though. Let's see. What was I saying? Yeah, the first VOD of Mother 3 is uploaded. It was really annoying because du Duster's theme played a lot in the early chapters and it kept getting claimed. Luckily, I finally got it up. I feel bad. Some Listen, I feel bad sometimes when I have to make a bunch of edits just so YouTube can watch the VODs. I feel like that I'm like, I have to, I'm kind of have to ruin it for them a little bit, but really no one cares because it's just a small chunk of like a four hour session. Damn, nothing. So I'm going to try and do a little less longer streams of Mother 3, because if I have to re-upload it over and over, then at least, <laughs> at least it'll be easier that way. Still, not letting it ruin my enjoyment of the game. We'll leave that up to the anime character. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Okay. Sub goals start tomorrow, reminder. There's going to be lots of fun stuff on the table. Oopsie. Also, you, chat, a weird problem I wanted to talk about that uh, is coming up for me, right? So I almost have a video done and edited, but the next time I, I, the next day I have off to edit is Monday, and Monday is April 1st, right? Oh, hang on. That is literally the worst day in the entire year to upload a video, because everyone's going to think it's a joke. So... Even if I finish... Oh, nice, Kingdra. Even if I finish the video that day, I can't upload it. I have to wait until the next day. Like, I have to. Because it's just... Ugh. No one clicks on anything anymore that day because they think it's a joke. And that is so infuriating to me. Let's go. Especially... Come on. You've seen some of the titles of my videos, too. People would easily assume they're April Fool's jokes. Okay, 344. Let's go. 344. Nice to get Kingdra out of the way like this. It lives in caves on the seafloor and creates giant whirlpools every time it moves. Let's see. Let's go. Keep going. Oh, I didn't use a repel again. Silly me. Oh, there's the baby. This is actually good. I'll take it. Okay. Let's throw a quick ball at it. Maybe I should check the normal uh, serpent encounters too. This place is actually was a good was a great place to stop by for this. Dragon rush. Well, we couldn't catch it with that, sadly. Maybe just throw Ultra Balls at it, because I don't feel like whittling it down. Well, that, and it wouldn't survive anything I throw at it. Nice! That actually worked. Didn't expect that to pay off. Well, anyways, when I get to Monday, I'm just gonna relax. I'm gonna edit at a slow pace, and I guess I'll just have to get it done and upload it the day after, assuming I even make that much progress, I gotta say. It is called the Mirage Pokemon because so few have seen it. Its shed skin has been found. Well, chat, you do you see them? Now you have. 345. All right, I say this, and you know what's gonna happen? I'm probably just gonna not even get it done until like a week later. <laughs> I'll just pop into this one. 
Dragonair again. Easy kill, at least. Easy kill. Easy kill. Pop it with the claws. Paxorus is getting the levels they deserve. No problem. Rain doesn't really have an effect on anything here right now. Hmm. Let's keep looking. Keep looking. We found Kingdra. I already have my low tick if it's also here, but... I'll let me just try one more bubble. I think Kingdra was the best I could get out of fishing in there, so I don't need to do it again. Oh no, what if like Kyogre or something is like a 1% on fishing in the bubbles? That would be so silly. That would be so silly. All right, Cedra. Let's see if I can fight the trainers to the side now. Be good enough. Hit this thing with a claw. I can also check for the shaking grass here. I mean, Dragon Spiral Tower just seems like a good location to stash away some cool Pokemon. That's good. Good. I'm trying to push for 350 before I call it a day. I don't have a second game plan, so that's why. Oh, I fought you. All right. Repels effect wore off. All right, let's see what's in the double grass then. Been a while since I checked double grass. All right. At these levels, not terrible. Maybe I should be able to one-shot them then. Cloud 9. Dragon Claw, the level 51. Ancient Power, the weak one. Fluffy burbs, but they're sitting. This is perfect. Okay. I did mention earlier, but yeah, there is more Mario Party tomorrow. Um... I, I definitely think I want to do at least one or two Mario Party games per week because they're such like a... They only take like a couple hours and they're just so much fun. And I don't feel exhausted by the end because I don't have to actually play. We still don't have Charmander. I know, we'll get it eventually. Everyone gets a teeny tiny bit there. 50 turn Mario Party only takes like two hours, yeah. Because the computer make all their decisions instantly. Oh! I do not have Sawsbuck. First time this thing's actually shown up in the wild. Let's catch it then. So we're gonna go ahead and use Dragon Claw on Kadabra. And Yawn on Sawsbuck. Can't quick ball in these double battles. Don't have my false swipe though. Perfect. Um, at their level, it probably wouldn't be safe to use uh, a Psychic on it anyway. I'm probably better off just eating Ultra Balls. Let's do it. Chat, I don't remember which Mario Party added the 75 turn option. Or am I hallucinating and that was never a thing? Let me see. Oh yes, whenever the AI goes in the chance time, you know it's going to be a fun time. See, there's a reason the Mario Party's VODs are actually doing quite well. Um, a, a couple of reasons. I mean, the first and most obvious is that it's just fun. Like, I, I give my little anime character a microphone and we commentate Mario Party characters, <laughs> like, doing stupid stuff. But what's also good about it is that, like, everyone gets to make a prediction, so it's it ends up being more interactive, even though I'm not really playing. Even the YouTube comments, there's always tons of comments uh, predicting who's gonna win. So it's good for more engagement, too. And it's all part of my evil plan. They migrate according to the seasons. People can tell the seasons by looking at Sawsbuck's horns. Oh, really? I thought it was summer. I couldn't tell all the leaves were dying until I saw this thing. Get that money. Heck yeah. And if they think the VTuber is cringe, it's it's even more engagement, chat. See, this is why I am the big brain teddy streamer. More comments, more engagement. Bien Zhao. Do I have this? I do. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Infinite money glitch. Heck yeah. What's that dude's name we were talking about? The guy who sold the money du- who, who did, like, the money duplication scam? Where he sold people a fake, like, uh, money duplicator. He sold two of those things. And the people that bought them couldn't go to the, pol go to the police because then the police would be like, why were you trying to, like, counterfeit money? Hmm? I'll outrage him. Yeah, Victor Lustig. During the last, uh, recharged yellow... Uh, VOD. We were talking about sp about scams and stuff. It was so funny. It was funny because as we were talking about depressing scams, I got raided by a giant VTuber and it, like, scared the heck out of me. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, Rin Penrose shows up with almost, like, 500 viewers, and I'm like, ah! Oh. And I'm like, well, here I am in the middle of talking about depressing scams, and then I have to think of something wacky. And I think that's how we talked about the money duplication thing. Rin was very base for that, yes. That was very nice. <laughs> okay, let's hit that. Okay, I'm just seeing how much I get right here. Speaking of VTubers, you have a game in mind you think I'd enjoy. Well, I don't know what you mean, but, well, you can tell me. Oh, I froze it. Now, see, this would have been a good one <laughs> to have tried to capture, but too late now. He just barely survived the claw. It's called Holocure. It's a survivor-style roguelike based on Hollow Live. I think I've heard of something like that, yes. 100% free and super fun. Sure, why not? Maybe sometime. 75. There are no limits to what games we play, chat. Alright. I think maybe I've run my course catching things here. We spent, like, what, 15 minutes looking around? Pretty good haul, I gotta say. So let's make a quick save. Um, the Pokedex only shows the amount of Pokemon seen, not Pokemon caught. That's annoying. I wish the save screen could be more accurate. Hollow Cure is actually really fun. You don't need to know anything about all the girls in it. Okay, that's fine. I wonder how moddable it is to just mod mod yourself in there. No hint, no limit to sorry, no limit to what games we play. What about Pokemon Low Punny Edition? Yeah, I have to draw. Listen, even even VTubers have to draw the cringe line somewhere, and we draw it right near Pokemon Low Punny Edition. <laughs> Let me see. I didn't make it a, a sub-goal. Maybe I could mods, but something I should also go back for a casual playthrough. Maybe that Pokemon Rocket Edition? Kind of thought about doing that. I kind of, like, was put off of it at first because it kind of seemed like it has a little bit of edgy humor. Let me see. But it's not that bad as from what I've been tell told. It's just, like, some dumb dialogue because the Team Rocket's members are cringy. Where else do I want to look here? Um... Hmm. I'm trying to think of where else I could just run to. The Relic Castle's there. Where have I not looked for Shaking Grass? Uh... You know what? Let's try the Shaking Grass to the side here, because I haven't done that. Yeah, I kind of want to give it a try. I, I wouldn't mind doing that, Kuda. Maybe we could make it one of the sub-goals, because... I kind of was, wasn't was sure what to put in one slot, other than something that was kind of already vaguely promised anyway. You know what I mean? I think there's a part where, like, a guy, like, is... Hang on. Oh, there's Charon. He says something like a gay little Pokemon like Jigglypuff. <laughs> Let's use a repel here and check the sa shaking grass in this location, because I don't think I've done that. As long as they don't like it, not putting like curse words in there. Bad words will scare me and the teddy away. Waiting to see the shakes. Because I can't really roam through this without going through the grass itself. 
This is a location I definitely haven't checked the shaking grass in, so... Don't hear it. Hell's effect wore off. Come on. Hmm. Let me see. Aside from random things like that, uh, it's not that bad. Okay. Let me see. They actually were asked to change that comment. But yeah. I, I remember that, like, some games had, like... The reason they have, like, uh, the Poker community has, like, rules like that is because there were people that were, um... Like, ma making straight up, like, uh... R34 games that would try to submit to the site, but yeah, that was kind of that is kind of a dumb thing to change Hang on Obviously, that's quite a different thing. I Know those ones are out there cuz uh, gosh people have tried to send them to me. Ew Dude, there's no shaking grass right now. Come on. Oh There we go. Come on. Oh, come on, Braviary? That's it? Ugh. I'll take it out, at least. I was hoping for something a little special here, but... Illegally leveled Braviary. Well, at least we got a little bit right there. Hmm. Let me see... I know that, like, chat, you ever, do some of you remember, like, the, uh, the 2012 fan game days? That stuff was real edgy, let me tell you. Real, not even, I'm not even talking, like, snake wood dumb and edgy. I know that there's, like, some games that were in development for so long that s the creators got old enough and actually went back and changed some stupid crap as the game was being made, because they realized how cringy it was. Let me see. So far, I found Braviary. I was hoping for something different. Let me try one more Shaking Grass here, and then I'll check a different location. Hmm. Grim, Dark, Blood, and Edge. I am cringe. Creepypasta era? That's a bit of a different kind of cringe, though. Remember when Creepypastas were king? This is a terrible place to hunt for the grass, by the way, because you have to go through the grass so you hear the shaking. Can't, you have to stop and see if there's actually one shaking what you're looking for. Ah, I don't see it. Creepypasta is fun cringe. Yeah, it is. Alright, let's go over here. There's Lickitung. We already caught that, though. Let's go. Did anyone ever make Pokemon Jeff the Killer version? Someone should have should have done that. Oh hey, Smeargle. I already caught that though. Did anyone make a fan game based on that youngster Joey creepypasta? Oh, I I know what one you're talking about. Hang on, let me see if I can find Ducklet. Let's do that. That, that youngster Joey Creepypasta, I remember I read that during the Pokemon Creepy Black stream, right? Um, that's the one where you, where the, the player would keep going back to fight Joey, and Joey would, like, sew pieces of Raticate to him to become, like, the ultimate Raticate. And there's a scene where the, um, the narrator says they're crying with the Game Boy in their hands, just, like, saying, stop it, Joey, please, you gotta stop this. <laughs> it's so kill it, it's so cringe. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, there's this. I'm trying to see if I can find Ducklet, because I have not found a single Ducklet this whole playthrough. Joey became a man mad scientist. Again, I said it before, but some of the people who, like, uh, wrote some of the creepypastas I read during that stream... They wrote them when they were, like, teenagers, but, um... Oh, we gotta get out of Drift Vale. We gotta get out of Drift Vale, everybody. Okay. Um, they wrote them when they were teenagers, and they just so happened to be watching that stream on YouTube, and they're like, oh, no. 
Oh, no, 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 no. He's, he's reading that thing I wrote when I was like a teenager. Why? Can you imagine? I became like the core of a cringe event for them. <laughs> That's like my worst freaking nightmare. Healthwing. So, so bad. It was hilarious. I, I believe when we ran out of good Pokemon ones to look at, I read the um the, the original Tails doll creepypasta. And that was very stupid. That one was just... I don't know how the hell that one had any popularity. Like, then the Tails doll came out of my TV screen and, like, tried to murder me and my friend, and the police found nothing. Nothing. Hang on, chat. Is the, is the software glitching? I just noticed my PNG tuber's mouth was, was staying shut a second ago. Dude, where is the thing? I can't find it. I can't find it. Where is it? Where is it? Huh. <sighs> Maybe I should try lowering the threshold a little bit. Let me try that. Maybe I'm talking too low. Or maybe it just glitched and I'm overthinking it. Okay. Maybe it's a little better now. So I was just talking and it looked like it was completely... My mouth was completely shut. Can't do that. Where is it? That, where is it? There it is. Duck! Quack! Let's see... Hmm. Imagine, like, you're just minding your business, watching a stream, and all of a sudden the streamer just starts reading the terrible fanfiction you, you wrote ten years ago. That's like somebody's worst freaking nightmare. And I got to make it happen. <laughs> I think one of the funniest moments of that stream... Hang on, let me update the counter. Was... When I read one of the, uh, the cringy creepypastas, there was a comment on the website of someone asking if it was a true story, and someone replied to them being like, this is the creepypasta wiki, you fool. <laughs> you just know it was someone a little too young to be on the internet asking that. Give a nickname to Caught Ducklet? No. It's the creepypasta wiki. Creepypasta wiki, how could you think that? All right, I caught my duck. Now what I should do is probably sh try and get these fellas evolved. We get to 350. Let me try going to Victory Road here. There we go. Cool. Is there a wiki for me? No, but apparently people have added me to the wiki pages for uh, VTubers. During Recharge Yellow, uh... Apparently, out of all the VTubers on Twitch, I'm, like, ranked 200-something, which I still find very hard to believe. I guess I cheated by already being a streamer before a VTuber, though. Okay. Oh, hey, Moonstone! Cool. Around 250. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still cool. Steelix again. Blah. That's fine, though. Taking a random shot at seeing if we can get the, um... Ah. Get the legendary to appear in here. Yeah, according to the list there, there's like around 1,200-ish VTubers on Twitch. That seems like such a low number. I highly doubt they have every single person documented. It is an expensive thing to do, by no means. For sure, yeah. I mean, there's nothing stopping anybody from just, like, putting a little picture in the corner if they're really dirt poor. A lot more on YouTube as well. See, I don't want to do YouTube streaming because you stream it. The reason I stream on Twitch is simply because I don't want all my eggs in one basket. If something goes wrong on YouTube, which, believe me, it loves to do that. Remember Mother 3? I don't want to deal with the exact same issue uh, on the same site, you know what I mean? There we go. We're actually getting dust clouds again. There was none earlier. 
me see. Come on. Completely understandable. Isn't it like on YouTube? I don't know if this is still the case, but like if you get like a claim and during your live stream, like the whole VOD's just deleted, right? You don't even get a chance to do anything to it. It might not be the case anymore, but this is also why even on Twitch, I just record the whole thing as I'm playing. Okay. I'm not bumping into stuff, so here's what we're gonna do. Hang on, you know what we should do? Let me teach strength to somebody and let's navigate down here. That would be a smart idea. Oh, I'm in the middle here. Oopsie. I have Waterfall, but I don't remember where to use it, except Lost Lorn Forest I could use it. We'll just teach strength to one of these lads, because why not? Nice. I don't really care too much about stats and numbers, chat. I just... To be, to be completely honest, when I started doing the PNG tuber thing, I was expecting the views to go down a bit. But it's been the complete opposite. And that is why you should always do what you want. Trust the guy who... Wait, what's this? Oh, this is where Terrakion is. Right, right, right. Okay. Oh. Everstone. Okay. Stream on both platforms. Um, I, you can do that, but doesn't that, like, eat up a lot of bandwidth? And it used to be against the TOS, because they didn't like people doing that. Let's go down. Go down. I need to use a repel again. I swear, the software is glitching. I highly doubt everybody is watching my character's mouth move at every second, but sometimes I feel like it's just stopping. Maybe I need to, like, restart the software, but we've already been going for so long, it doesn't matter. How long has it been? Four and a half hours. <sighs> Short stream, he says. Plenty of partners dual stream now. Alright, that's good. Okay. Is this right here? Let's do this. We're gonna go down a little bit. I'll deal with the, uh, the three swords another time. I kinda wanna check here for Moltres now if I can, but now I need my repel to wear off. We can beat up the wild Pokemon that are here too, in case there's something we missed. We don't miss this. I'm so close to Swampert, Embor, and, uh, what was the last one? Blaziken. Then I kind of just want to get those three and call it 350 a stream. Extra long episode for you guys because I know I'm probably not going to have time to do another session of this. For a little bit again, so that's okay. Give you guys the Pokedex playthrough and the ramblings you need. Excellent. Fire chicken. There's Braviary. Hang on, I can hydrate, but my water's pretty much empty. Hmm. I basically got a few drops left out of it. <laughs> Give him a little blast. A little Dragon Claw. There's a 1% chance of Moltres showing up, but I'm also just giving these guys XP right quick. Them all at once. Eat more. I have not found a single shiny in this whole playthrough. We're not going to run around with three experienced Sheremons next time. It's clear we're going to need the whole team to fight the trainers up ahead, but maybe one Pokemon with the XP share would be okay in a battle like that. Axorus was still able to solo everything. Still. There's Glyscor. We caught that before. Moltres is just here. It's probably because Moltres is found in Victory Road in Gen 1. And let's go. They didn't have a proper dungeon form, so they just put Moltres awkwardly in the middle there. 
Which, by the way, was always a funky choice, because it's like, wow, I caught the legendary Moltres, let me go fight the Elite Four. Oh, look, it's Lorelei, and, you dr and your Moltres is drowned. Your Moltres is just drowned by water moves. She's an ice trainer. <laughs> Tell yourself that all you want. You're drowned. Go ahead, use a fire move on the Lapras. Bulldoze. Hang on. What level did they just reach? Dude, we're not gonna get these three there in time. <laughs> They're not gonna get there in time. They're gonna have to do that next time. Hmm. And Moltres is also weak to ice in Gen 1 because fire is where had to work that way, yeah. We could try another... Hmm, we could try another water thing, yeah. Green City's nearby that. Striaton has that. I could try the bubbles in Striaton, maybe. I don't think we're gonna hit 350, chat. It. I have been recording for such a long time. I'm not gonna, like, push myself to hit 350. Bef I wanna go pee and make dinner soon. That's important to me. I wonder if there's specific surfing encounters here. Let's find out. I've fished on the water, but not the bubbles here. Meryl. I already have Meryl. I should do what's best for me. Exactly. You know what's best for me? A teddy. And look at that. I'm holding one. What a coincidence. Perfect. I'm absolutely sure we will hit the, the goal for Reshef to Destruction. Letting the bubble appear. I'm looking- I'm kind of looking forward to playing that game again because it's so crusty and bad. It's one of those things that's just fun to show off. And in the context of streaming, I can- it, the grind can be bearable. I remember the last time I played it, though, I had to, um... I had to just, like, like speed up grind a, a dueling Tristan 10,000 times because he's, like, the quickest guy to beat up for, like, uh, low experience. And you need to increase your duelist level to put any damn cards in your deck. There's no bubbles happening. What's going on? Chat, there's no bubbles. No bubbles. Alright, you know what? Let's go to that cave with water. How about that? Let's go ahead and use a max repel. I just want to catch at least one new thing. My luck's kind of been all over the place, but it's been a fun episode for sure. There are mods that make Reshef uh, different for sure, but I'm gonna do the vanilla experience. And I'm, I probably won't use the raw spear mode password again. Well, I never- I didn't- I refused to use it in the old playthrough. Okay. Let me get that item there. I want bubbles. Bubbles can absolutely show up in caves, right? Oh, there they go. I'm gonna try fishing. Let's see what we got. Genuinely didn't know you could fish in there. Shelter? Do I? I don't. Easy cloister with a water stone, too. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Even Let's Go has Pokemon tucked away in one location. Like, did you know that in Let's Go, the only place you can find Goldeen and Seeking is in that one pond that's between Saffron and Vermilion? Isn't, like, Goldeen supposed to be, like, everywhere in Gen 1? Anyways, let me just add this. 348, 348. 348. It swims backwards by opening and closing its two shells. Its large tongue is always kept hanging out. Let me see what else we can grab then. Let's try running into the bubble. I don't know what else is in this cave. I'll search next time, but hang on. There's you. Ah, I already have you. I thought I didn't. Did I? Oh, I read a trap, okay. The Hall of Eternity opponents? I don't know if I did. Did you know there's people that actually speedrun Reshef? 
thing about Reshef is that, like, one of the things that people w got kind of upset about that I wasn't doing is that, like, if you build your deck to counter the types that, uh, the people have, you can do, good, do a good time, but to do that, you basically have to look up what their deck is online and, like, what's the frickin' point? Like, yeah, sure. Let me just look up what everyone in the game has. That's, that's how you play video games. There we go. The only other side is to just duel them over and over until you know what they have, and at, at that point, yeah, you're just, you're just, like, doing the grind. <laughs> yeah. How do you speedrun that game? You pretty much have to have everything memorized and know exactly what cards to use and which deck, so you can just... Because monsters in that game... Oh, what's cash? Monsters in that game are really weird. It doesn't... They're... Hang on, let me try and explain this properly. Yu-Gi-Oh! you're familiar with, you have to have the higher attack number, but for some reason that game puts in elemental weaknesses. So, like, if you attack a forest monster with a fire fire attribute monster, it kills it no matter what the attack points are. And that interaction is very, very, very annoying. Because so many opponents have such high attack power monsters that that's literally the only way you can beat them. You have, just have to draw the right monster sometimes. Quagsire. I already have Quagsire too, damn it! Okay. I'm pretty sure Reshef came out before the video games could emulate the, the card game properly. So it just has very crusty rules. Let me see. Let's go over here. Let me try a generic fish right here. Why don't I do that? Maybe I'll find something like Shelter again. Barboach. Pretty sure we got that, yeah. Hmm. Reshef of Destruction is a sequel to a Battle City game, so yeah, it's definitely... Yu-Gi-Oh! is well established as a card game at that point. The games just didn't have the, the perfect setup yet. What was it? I, I think it was Eternal Duelist Soul. That was the first one that emulated the card game rules uh, properly. You see. Wait, it came out after one of the World Championship games. Okay, so maybe it was just Konami reusing the sacred uh, the sacred cards mechanics. The game is just an asset flip. Then there you go. Never mind then, who knows, it's Konami. Nothing else is showing up, chat. Oh, you piece of crap, of course you do that now. Last bubble. Gastrodon? I have that too, damn. Let's pop it. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the whole reason Reshef of Destruction is so ridiculously hard and tedious is because people complained the game before it was too easy. So, like, yeah, Sacred Cards is piss easy and can be finished in, like, a few hours. And, uh, Reshef of Destruction is just like, haha, everyone's more powerful than you, and you have to grind for seven hours to do anything. Fun. How about this? Maybe it's Totodile. A squirtle. Well, I needed that. I'll take it. Reshef is just Kaizo sacred cards, yeah. Well, we can end on catching the squirtle, I guess. Sacred cards in Reshef were called Duel Monsters 7 and 8 in Japan. That's because all the Yu-Gi-Oh games at that point weren't really translated. All right, Squirtle acquired. Baby Turtle Friend has been found. Well, I'm at 359. I may as well just Waterstone. Shelters itself in its shell and strikes back with spouts of water at every opportunity. I should just use the Waterstone on Cloister, and we can just kind of call it a stream.
I left that hoot in the daycare forever. What's wrong with me? Wrong with me, chat. Let's do it. We're gonna end this. I've been going over four and a half hours. It's been a nice, fun, cozy stream. I enjoyed it. Here's Larvitar. Where is... There you are. Just put you away for a second. Keep there until the end and see what level it is. <laughs> I should. Okay. Water stones are... Do I even have water stones? When did I pick them up? When did I get them? I'm assuming I got one. Ground gem, Eevee light, Rocky helmet. We've got dawn stones. Firestone. Oh no, do I not have it? Sunstone? Uh-oh. Chat, I don't think I have it. I don't, I don't have water stones? Oh. All right, new plan. I'll just rare candy the pupitar. I'm ending on 350. I'm kind of just wandering around right now. If that's okay. Where is the... There it is. It's quirky. Probably find Cloyster in the bu those, those bubbles anyway. Let's get T-Tar. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay, number 350. That's a good milestone to end on, especially after we did so much story as well. Um, we did catch a legendary today, but it was Reshiram, which is obviously free as hell, so... I guess it counts. But getting those 1% Entei in the Shaking Grass are gonna... Oh my good, I'm gonna lose my mind doing that. You know I am. I... I think 400 could be reasonable for next time. Yeah, actually. Because we don't have any more story to do, but we are going to have to battle some of the trainers to make progress on those routes. Because they are high level as hell. We need to get the whole crew together. Alright, everybody. We're going to go ahead and make a save. For over 4 hours and 40 minutes of Blaze Black. I hope y'all are still enjoying this. Kept you waiting for a couple weeks. It's been a wild couple weeks for sure with all the VTuber stuff. I've been having a blast with it. Have been enjoying all the games lately. If you're watching on YouTube, I hope you've been enjoying this too. I hope it was cozy. Uh, but for now, look forward to more. Have a good night and bye-bye.